you you link me that I will I will report you to something. I don't know what, but I will report you. Austin, I mean in Discord. What, PETA? What? Um does PETA even do anything, bro? Yeah, they put down animals. Yeah, they are the absolute worst people you could go to for any sort of animal abuse issue. So that's counterintuitive. Why? Why? How are they still in business? Then, if their whole thing is like because they're animals and shit. Oh, because they're marketers, dude. They're great oh. at it. They fucking sell perfectly. All right. If you don't know, you don't know. But they know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like the beginning of a conspiracy so, so, like series. But they also know that the people who don't know don't care. Mm. But who does? You know. What's up, guys? Who watches the <laughs> Is what? Waka Waka. Who watches the Watchmen? That's not a real thing. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, what's up? It's Carlos, Zaji, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Thank you so much, huh? Us. I feel like I've seen that before. Am I tripping? I don't know. Thanks for following. Appreciate you, buddy. Yes. I'll fucking rip. Uh, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. This is uh, T6 tonight, presented by T6 Designs. Got a lovely crew with me. I got fucking Zach, Austin, Drew, Chris, myself, and Ruby, and uh, ladies, gentlemen, whatever y'all are. Um, how have y'all been? Everybody been good? Been all right? Been okay? Been tired. Nice. Me too. It's all right. Nice. Also, what? Is that one of the thingies, Ruby? Mm-hmm. Fucking dope. Let's get Genius. it. Let's get it. All right. Awesome. Um, but we all been good. <laughs> Great. Can't yeah. Complain. Good enough. Dope, 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 dope. Awesome. Well, uh, happy to say everybody's doing great. We got nothing to talk about, and our community hates us, so we got no fucking topics. So today we can talk about uh ej and how much we hate him because he really shifted on his bro like he came out of nowhere with all that you know bravado and like oh i'm here for the shits and shit and then as soon as he gets a girlfriend out again like a fucking light bro hey what's up how's it going well suddenly when a dude like blows up in a video you know their video gets oh, like yeah. views and shit yeah. all of a sudden they're too good bro ej i know you're like a big youtuber and shit now with like the stuff but like what about us little people, huh? Well, well, where you started, you know? That don't mean yeah, shit man. To you. Oh, fuck. fuck you for forgetting about <laughs> us. I like the energy. Keep it up. Uh, nothing, DJ. Uh, we just giving you some homage. Uh, so, we... Uh, what was I gonna fucking say? Oh my god, no. It's too early for this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this week in gaming, we ain't got jack shit happening. From what I can tell, uh, it's Why been. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Which screen reveal and games? No, no, that doesn't count. No, uh, we ain't got nothing happening in gaming. <laughs> Some might even say that gaming itself is now it's dead. dead. Yeah. Oh, there we. It's dead. Um, it is now August twenty fifth, twenty twenty one. So you'll be seeing this dead. tomorrow. And um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm never playing a video game again. Uh, I'm kind of on the same wave as well. Uh, I, I believe that we, we had a good run, you know? But ever since um, we found out that Spider-Man wasn't... I can't go down that route. I really wish no, I wasn't... Bro, say it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> no. Uh, what, did something actually happen? Uh, Zach, I know that there was that XCOM shit, and I just completely did not give a fuck. Uh, but what was revealed? What happened? I don't, I don't fucking know about that. I'm talking about Destiny shit. Oh, what happened, to Destiny? It's, it's included in gaming. Oh, uh, that's just nothing happened to Destiny. Destiny's over. They stopped making it. Uh oh. Is this true? Oh, timer's going off. Bear back. Good talk. Don't fall over yourself. Oh, I hope you fall down the stairs. <laughs> uh, what's up, Mickey? September. Happening September. Oh, I, I just I thought you were gonna say something and then nothing happened. I guess no, apparently I just fucking, what's up uh, medium is gonna be on the PS5 next month. So if any of you give a shit about that, 
Um, what the fuck is it? It's a video game, bro. Bro, I hate this man. Like Jesus Christ! A new Cadillac's coming out. What is it? A car? What? Yeah, dude. What are you stupid? Um, okay, my fucking bad. I know the answer already, but can 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 may I join? Yeah, one hundred percent. Come through. My Medi- medium is the fucking game by the guys that made Layers of Fear and the Blair Witch game or whatever. Ooh. Yeah. I think they they they're all they've been they had that whole fucking like uh conspiracy shit recently where I wanted to like shoot myself because everyone was like it's got to be Silent Hill and I'm like I'm gonna, I'm going to kill myself. Oh, okay. And I was right as usual, so it's whatever. Um are so you sure? sure? Yeah. No. Was I wrong? Um yes. Okay. No, I just wanted to let you know. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I lose either way. Oh, true. And Mickey, right, back. why are you why are you eating lunch at seven? That's kind of. I mean, fuck. Don't, that's don't question Mickey's life. That's just that's dinner go though. Around like a normal time. That's just dinner. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's totally depends good. on when you wake up. If you wake up at a, uh, you know, noon. That could be lunch. Cause that. Okay. All right, I I almost had an aneurysm. I can't hold on. Give me a second. Um, yeah, my bad, Mickey. You didn't mean to question you. You are boss king. My bad. Uh, I saw that there was something about the fuck were you dweebs talking about, dude? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know, dude. Fucking say it, bro. Say that shit. No, no. I'm dude, trying to it. see what the fuck these dumbasses are talking about. Hold on. Uh, there was uh Saints Row too. Is that what that is? Saints Row 2? Man, that game's brand new. It is. Uh, no, there was like a new cinematic trailer for Saints Row, and it looks, uh, you know, these guys liked it. I think it looked like shit, but it's oh. whatever. Okay, 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 okay. I went to sleep at 7 a.m. and woke up at 2. Like five hours? That's not terrible. Good job. No. I know, man. Yeah, seven hours of sleep, woke up five and a half hours ago. That's more than I get. You don't get seven hours of sleep? No, I usually get like five or six. Okay. Sometimes four. Would Would you even say three? No. That's sometimes. Oh, okay. Some, sometimes I get two and a half. Oh. <laughs> Thankfully, it's know. it's been a while since that's happened. Oh. Yeah, uh... It looks really lame, the, the Saints Row cinematic, but I'll, I'll save real judgment until I see gameplay. Was this just remade? Yeah. Like, like who who asked for this? Because now I'm curious. Fuck if I know. Oh, fuck. That's weird, because I'm playing Saints Row 3, actually, right now, so. You think it's better than Saints Row 2? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that fucking one and two are really dated, so yeah. Great. All right, that's all we got in fucking gaming. Fuck yeah. On no, to the you're topics. Not you're not excited for the new Call of Duty, the fucking uh, the most liked video of all time on Call of Duty. You know, I wait really. Hold on. Yeah, dude, the video is really liked. I think he's kidding. Give me a. Second. Because no one wanted World War Two. I don't know why they continue to go back to that dumbass fucking. Did you World game. War Two again? That's what I'm saying. But I, don't know. I want them to remaster World at War. That's what I want. Max. I think that would do War. very well. It would. Just give us World at War. Oh shit! Uh, this is covering up the whole. Fucking give us fucking Revolutionary War. I don't know. Give me something different. I'll oh, dude, the Revolutionary War would be great. It'd be kind of cool. Honestly. It would be interesting. Yeah, but how are they going to put a red dot on a fucking musket? They're not. <laughs> you don't have a red dot. <laughs> Guess what? They can no, also they're going to find a fucking way. It's Call of Duty. They're going to figure it uh, out. Um, I mean, the, uh, I, I'm, I like the fact that they're going back to the Pacific War. <laughs> I always thought that was cool. But, um, yes. Give me Pedro the North, African, North African campaign. That's cool. Um, but, like, it looks lame. <laughs> it just looks lame. I hope it's not, but it does, it looks lame. I'm, I'm excited seeing... for the campaign, and that's about it. I don't know how to feel because, like, I, I I seriously am like a fanboy, and I feel bad about it. But like, 
I haven't even like been excited to look at this trailer. Um, consistently, it's been like three or one fourth of dislike. So you know, I guess that's I people even saying we're tired. It. What'd you say? I haven't even watched it yet. I haven't either. I'm putting it up right now because uh, why not? But whoa, <laughs> there's a Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker. Star that is some shit. I'm fucking into. Fuck yeah. Fuck this. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey. Um. Wait, what? Hey, I'm being Lego. I'm being serious, okay? Yeah, like good games are pretty good. Oh yeah, you ain't gotta tell me twice, pussy. I I I would like, <laughs> I would like to uh possibly get a crew of people that would be down to play this, even though Star Wars is boring as shit and terrible and stupid in every fucking way. <laughs> um, How many people? Star Wars? Because if it's got a new Star Wars, I don't give a shit. I. I think it looks like the first of the new, actually, that's incorporated. And you can fly a fucking jet. What the fuck? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be down. Fuck yes. Well, how many so people weird. can you play a Lego game with? I thought it was two. I thought it was it's four, four now. Is, is it four? Over the, what is this over the shoulder fucking angle? What is that? I don't know, but I'm kind of weird. I'm kind of turned on, honestly. Like, this looks like my childhood this looks like austin like you and i playing this shit for a very long time like this looks kind yeah, of like a complete saga for a while but you never like star wars so i'm kind yeah, of confused why you're into it because i like like this i just like LEGO playing game. it yeah like the game itself is fun to play i just the only lego game i've ever played was a star wars game yeah exactly uh, okay. yeah dude this looks fucking <laughs> fun all right dude i I'm can't gonna... wait to play this qui-gon Jin. let me see how many people can play that uh What's up, Jason? What? Why? Why? why what? With a smile, a oh, frowny face. What's happening? Because you realize that fucking Star Wars is over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, y'all boys. I miss y'all. Hey, buddy. Yeah, but did you though? <laughs> Bro, I, I, y'all act like I'm brand new or something, man. I, I'm just busy. <laughs> Uh, dude, oh, oh, EJ has all these views and views and shit. Who the fuck is this? Hey, bro, listen, I'm, thank you for gracing your, your presence with us, honestly. I'm like, you know, you know, yeah. tying EJ? Who the fuck is fine ass? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fine ass? <laughs> Yo, I'd be damned if someone's name is fine ass and I gotta call you fine ass because your name is fine ass. <laughs> Carlos, I call you ever, FN. Carlos, have you ever, uh, you know, you're, you're chilling with your uh, your crew and you see some chick walk by and you tell one of your friends that she ain't got no ass at all? You ever done that? Um, what? you know, I don't think I. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think I. Can I could say I've done that. Brain yeah, I. I almost lost a nut. What? What? It, what? Ha what? Can you repeat this, As... please? Acetol is a tablet used in relieving pain and swelling associated with bones and joints in conditions such as arthritis, etc. It sounds like ass at all when you're just, you know, speaking random shit. In high school, me and some friends were chilling at the mall, just probably sitting at the food court or some shit. I don't fucking remember. It's been a while. Uh, and some some girls walk by and one guy like looks at the rest of us and he points at one of them he's like man she ain't got no ass at all and of course they overheard and mm. they're upset because they think he's saying she doesn't have an ass <laughs> and, and he explains it to us after the fact we don't even know what the fuck he's on about he explains <laughs> it to us after the fact and exactly one person thought it was funny and it was him <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I can tell you that I've uh, come across that I'll situation. Tell you, man. You know? The story was a lot funnier than the uh, the joke. Well, oh, yeah, that's because I'm a good storyteller. Yeah, I like his stories. His stories make yeah, my totally. tiny tickle. Uh, we uh, the, this looks like um, a cod that is. Well, the way they're fucking looking at it right now, it looks like fucking dying light for a second. Hey, yeah, no. I'm you so guys cool. are... Are you watching dying light? Is a good game. Trailer? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone shut up. Hey, yeah, what, Chris? On. Yeah, what, Chris? If any of you guys really want an Xbox, uh, Series X, um, they're uh -huh. in Walmart, yeah. Which Walmart? Halo, Halo Infinite Limited Edition. Which Walmart? Xbox. Which Walmart? Series X. Which Walmart? Which Walmart? <laughs> Which Walmart? Uh, it's online. 
He's pushing. One behind, one behind, two behind. <laughs> okay, give me that link, please. Thank you very much. Um, Zach, what'd you, what'd you say before? You're down? You're dog shit? <laughs> You're dog water? Uh, no, are you watching the, the trailer for the campaign, the 10 minute trailer they just released? Yeah, and I've been skipping around because it looks boring as shit. But... Yeah, that, yeah that, the mission they picked is dog shit. I don't know why they picked that mission. It's Dude, trash. They've done a good job of picking like action packed missions i don't like i guess now oh my god they're getting uh airstriked and now they gotta run okay i guess this is the action part but you're like seven minutes into the fucking campaign now the shit pops off okay this, okay hold on this is kind of cool but seven minutes in yeah I like the, the mouse looks like a recoil is weird yeah it, it, yeah we've, we've got battlefield 5 i don't need a call of duty to be yeah uh, old timey i i Not will when, agree not when Call of Duty is way more suited to like the faster pace action compared to Battlefield. Hey, dude, if they go steampunk with this shit out of like left field okay. and throw yes. some weird shit in it, I might be okay with it. I mean, no all that. I want some. I want some fucking like old school musket rifle. All right, I want. I want some oh, shit God. like that. They You're cannot the monetize ball. that. It could not work. <laughs> well, you have fun with your monetization. I want to have fun. Fuck fun. Yeah, yeah that doesn't work here. That doesn't work in AAA right, gaming. Right. Uh, EJ, you said something a while ago. What did you say? Uh, nah, it wasn't uh, too important, but it was just, um, do you hear me fucking gigs is going to be? Probably that giant? Is important. Enough for me not to buy it, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 270 gigs. Or yeah, something no. like that. Man. I stopped playing Call of Duty, but that shit is ridiculous. Yeah, suck my cock. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Glad we got Battlefield 2042. Yeah. I'm so, so like, I don't know why that's such a deterrent for y'all. Just buy a fucking storage. Dude, like, you broke it. No need for it to be that fucking. Hey, hey, tit, 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 tit. You want to know the funny part? I have one. I'm so dude, then delete the other is. shit, man. Mid Call of Duty. Look, look, I have a PS5, I have an extendable, over 100 gigs. I have, look, I have the PS5, I have storage, I have not once had to delete a fucking game just to play COD, alright? And I have, like, at least 20 games installed. So, I don't know what the fuck y'all are doing with y'all space, maybe y'all have 30 or 40, uh, understandable, totally fine. But, I just don't think, like, oh my god, if it's 200 shit, like, meh. I it's guess, not even about the space for it, really, for me. It's just about, it's just like, having point. fucking... Downloading more shit, waiting to download more shit. Oh, you have to update this again. It's like, fuck off. Well, you can't have it both ways, fucking... where it's like you bitch about the game not changing and not being patched, but then you also bitch about the updates and the patches. About that. Not you, not you, but I mean, like, when people, because they use uh, that argument okay. very often, it's like, what, you can't use both, pussy. Like, it's either you want the game to get better, because they kind of listen, I mean, the fucking people that are running it are dumbasses, but when the shit has to update, they update, but then you bitch about it updating because it needs a fucking update. Fuck off, man. Okay, like, it's either you do it or not. Now, can we see the, the requirements for Battlefield 2042 and see the difference? Ooh, let me see. Because if Battlefield's yeah. even half of that, you have to wonder why Call of Duty is even double that. Oh, they're there's, terrible there's at optimizing, reason. bro. It's easy. There's and no I mean, reason why. You want to um, know the truth? I, I bet it's audio. Hmm. I bet they don't fucking yeah. compress their audio properly. Yeah. Well, they kind of do the thing where you can disable certain packs and uninstall certain parts of it, so technically it could be smaller, but the game is still fucking large, so... You know. Well, we don't know if that's launching at launch, if that's going to be at launch. That's true. Um, let's see, oh, well, yeah, I just oh. don't care about any of this crap. I, I just, I'm, I'm, Dying Light 2 is probably the only game I'm kind of excited for. Unless the yeah. fucking Warzone client is going to be tied to fucking Vanguard, which would make sense if it's not launching with a new map. It one thousand percent will. will. One more fucking connection. It'll one thousand percent will. Nope, yep, not doing that. Yeah. I believe that the game is fifty gigabytes. No fucking shit. Twenty forty two. Well, it says minimum. Syst oh, system requirements. My apologies. I don't think they know how big the game is going to be. Hold on. I'm it's I'm guessing it's gonna be at least one fifty. That's my guess. It's gonna be about hundred, I think. For yeah. PC it is oh, this is Battlefield five. It, wait. What's is it Battlefield I mean, 5? That's, that's still a pretty decent comparison. Uh, wait, Battlefield Five is a new one, right? Or am I tripping? 
No, 2042. Oh, I'm sorry. 2042 is the new one. Battlefield 5 is the most recent. Oh, Battlefield 5 is like 55 gigs. Oh, yeah, 44 that's... gigs. My bad. I think it's bigger with all the updates. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Well, regardless, it's still smaller. And uh, download size for Battlefield 2042 is 50 gigabytes. Nice. I don't believe it. Battlefield 5, the full game, is 108 gigs. So I'm guessing that's like base, like without. That's probably that's like. like that's like a game one play online. Or without DLC, because Battlefield 5 has a bunch of DLC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, regardless, if it's either one of them, they're still twice as small, if not more, than COD. So, y'all motherfuckers rejoice. All yeah, right, we're going to have to put Battlefield. Hey. I would love hey, to play Battlefield. Hey, Battlefield's good, homie. Yeah, I'd love to play Battlefield. Good time. Whatever you say. Chris, uh, That's if you're... Got plan, it, Chrissy. Ooh, what's up? If you want to get Lego Star Wars, I'm down. It's uh, two people only, which kind of sucks. I would love to. All right. Chris is definitely the guy to play it with. He would have great <laughs> reactions. <laughs> Fuck you. I got hope, kind of, a little bit. I'd be <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't give me good hope. All right, well, we'll see how that fucking goes if we go down that path. Speaking of um, great great reactions, we stream uh, Fortnite. Dude, that was terrible. Oh my! We got like maybe one person watching. It was the best time though. When did y'all do that? A long Uh, time ago. uh, So it was before Cammy with pants. Okay. (laughs) EJ, what what were you saying? Uh, I was trying to say. Speaking of great reactions, uh, say you know that. Outlast trailer that came out with the multiplayer. You down to play it? Outlast multiplayer? Is that what you said? Yeah. Some of Outlast trials. Yeah. What the fuck yeah. is that? It's Outlast. The trailer that came out, yeah. Dude, you looked this up. Let's see. <laughs> Remember Outlast? Remember that game you played? No, I don't remember that dumb shit, bro. Fuck all that, man. But just imagine that, that, but the two of us playing together. Why would you want that? I think it's like four people can play. It's 30. It's 30. 30? 30. How the fuck are 30 people? Are you killing each other? Are you running away? 30 player? What? It's it's a three-player campaign game where y'all can just go through the campaign with each other. Oh. Yeah. I thought you said 30. 30. Players, but it's three. Nah, it's not a battle royale. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty cool, though, if they did do a game where it's like you can choose to be the people who chase after the survivors and torture the survivors versus like trying to escape the people who are doing the torturing and all that. That, uh, that almost kind of sounds like. Yeah, like, uh, like, yeah. Friday the 13th again. Or Friday the 13th. Yeah, but. Dead by Daylight, like, it could have been so much better. It... Yeah, get rid of the fucking hook, man. <laughs> I hate yeah. that fucking shit. And they just, they just stand there and kept the entire fucking game. Like, bitch-ass niggas. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about Friday the 13th more, is that when you get fucking killed, you're fucking killed. Yeah. You at least have a chance in Friday the 13th when it Dead by Daylight. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, you gotta play whist- whistleblower first, Carlos. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, we're not getting over that hurdle, so we yeah, are stuck. Don't, don't worry, you will. You'll do it. No, no. no. Yeah, you'll do it. Don't worry. No, no. I can force you. Don't worry. You won't force what? you, bitch. How about that? Hmm. hmm? All right, bitch. We'll see. We'll see. All right. We anything else we want to talk about before we talk about the thoughts on Texas healthcare policy makers? <laughs> no, I'm good. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Thoughts on thoughts on Texas healthcare policy makers looking into the possibility of treating vaccinated individuals first in triad triage 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 triage. triage. Triage, triage. I've always heard it tree, not try. Yeah, I always heard tree as well. I would only see try if it's like TRI. Triage. That's how you're supposed to say. Name, making it sound like it's pariah or something. Pariah. 
the tray. It's tray. Tray art. A yeah. tray arc. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. They're, they're treating uh, vaccinated individuals first at tray arc. <laughs> I've always heard it. <laughs> they did it again! All right, let me see. Uh, yeah, thoughts, uh, guys? Uh, if you're vaccinated, you get first dibs on everything, I guess, if, if you're in the hospital. Yeah. Um, I don't see any problem. Yeah, good. <laughs> God, why? Why? <laughs> why? Uh, okay. What's uh, that noise? Ew. God, dude. My fucking <laughs> dog. It's the dog playing with a toy. Oh. <laughs> Not a dog. <laughs> no, that's all good, bro. I got scared. Uh, we, okay, so, so, I, I attempted to look up the question, and all I got was just COVID vaccine and information. All right. Look Excuse it up me. on Bing. Don't you ever <laughs> say that sentence to me. Please. <laughs> now, for real, though, Google actually, like, fucking changes their services on purpose, so Bing is where you get actually unfiltered shit. Oh, you're, are you, are you kidding or are you not kidding? I don't know if you're kidding. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> fucking Bing? Yeah, I'm being yes. serious. Dude, be, just be glad we're not telling you to go to Ask Jeeves. Dude, I'm gonna go yeah. to go go duck go 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 Gans go Daddy. Yeah, go, go da no go uh, go go. I'm go having go gadget? no go, daddy. go 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 go, 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 go. Daddy. go. no Doug yeah yeah Duck Duck go fuck you fuck all of y'all <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You got a Netscape navigator. <laughs> look, look, you're saying go and go, go. Look. Obviously, we're going to think go daddy first. Look, man, I just <laughs> fuck you. All right. Go Hold on. daddy. I'm just going to copy his question and put in. Uh, duck, duck, go. Hold on. Give me. I trust that, I trust that duck for sure. I do, too. Uh, the hell care. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing. All right. If this is the case. We're vaccinated people, vaccinated individuals getting treated first. I would like to say, um, it's uh, it's a thought. Uh, I guess it's kind of getting to the point where you probably should just take it anyway. But now that people keep saying, "Oh, I would take it if it was FDA approved." Well, as of today, it is at least Pfizer is now officially FDA approved. So I don't really know. That's the best one. Yeah, because well, hey, Team Pfizer, bitch. I don't know what other oh. reason someone would not want to do this now that we have FDA approval. Now that we have, uh, I guess, positive signs from getting a vaccine, kind of. So if we want to start going even more, which is kind of why I got this to begin with, even in April, I was like, all right, you can get this vaccine or not, but I promise you later this year, later in life, it's going to be harder to do things if you don't have the vaccine. They're going to start telling you that you can't go to certain countries or you can't fly into certain places without being vaccinated. So my mental was like, all right, well, for convenience sake, I guess let's just shoot up my body with something that uh, d is supposed to help people. So why the fuck not? I'll do my part. And this is exactly what I thought we were going to get to the point of where life is getting a little bit harder for those that are trying to come up with different reasons and different thoughts on not to get vaccinated where, you know, it's America, at least where we are here. So I guess do whatever the fuck you want to do. But if you don't get the vaccine, we start looking at things like this, where if you don't get the vaccine and I guess you it's, it's kind of like a weird double edged sword where you don't believe in the vaccine because all the doctors and people are telling you that it's supposed to be good, but you also want to have the doctors in the, ho in the hospital and medical system help you recover from the fucking thing that we're, we're trying to protect you from. Um, I don't get the thought process there if you're not trying to get the vaccine, but uh, this is kind of in line with what I was thinking. Uh, policymakers looking to do that makes sense, just for the extra push that everybody should be doing their part. Do I think is right or not? I don't know. I mean, get the vaccine, don't get the vaccine. You're going to just see what happens if you don't do it, obviously. But if you do, you know, well, now we're all good. But I don't know how to feel about it. I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. 
kind of like it's it just feels like even more of that like extra like push like just fucking get it like the government everybody's like just fucking get it and relatively speaking everybody gets it we can get this all shit over with but um you can still get the covid you can still get the shits even if you're vaccinated but technically not as bad so uh yeah makes sense this is not surprising is it great cool i know some of y'all would say yeah fuck the non-vaccinated people they can go fucking kill them there's a blah, blah blah because they didn't get the okay i get that cool but this is this is just in line with what i thought was going to happen so i mean like my mom she isn't vaccinated i don't know if it's because of a health thing or what it is really but like if she couldn't get care uh it'd be pretty fucked up that's kind of the you thought process the I was thinking anyway. of there. Sorry, what Wait, what's that? You can't get into hospitals anyway. Most hospitals don't have beds. Yeah. We stay on ER shut down in Houston because there's no beds available. Yeah, your I see. It's a problem anyway. Your ICU capacity have exceeded. Patients are being transferred out of counties to receive care. If a child needs care because they were in a car accident or anything else, they can't receive care because. They're too busy dealing with COVID patients. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's now become similar to what it was in Italy at the start of the pandemic, where doctors are being forced to make the hard choices, where it's like, who's worth saving and who's worth not, because we only have so many resources, we're running out of options. So lawmakers are trying to make it so they can protect as many people as they can in the event that they do contract the virus they're more likely to live. Now, if you are medically exempt from getting the vaccine due to allergies or anything like that, I don't know how they're going to triage you. I don't know what type of level of care you're going to get. That's something that you should be asking your local representatives in terms of like government officials, like what are, what are, what's going to happen to people who can't medically get the shot because some people can't get the shot due to medical conditions. Like, severe allergies being the one percent that gets like the weirdest fucking side effects a whole bunch of other shit but it's just they're running out of options of what to do to help keep people safe so this is what they're aiming for it's a last ditch effort and it's probably like the last thing they want to do because it's going to cause a further split and divide in society but like i don't know what more they can do to try to keep people safe at this point yeah Hey, mm-hmm. one thing, um, Jason, if you're still watching, Walmart has PS5s in stock. You should just add them on Discord. I did. You know, okay. Good for you. I was about to be a bitch because I'm like, okay, why the fuck is this Xbox more expensive than the goddamn <laughs> PS5? The um, regular Xbox is in stock, too. I, yeah, I, I realized that uh, this is the the special edition one, which... No. Does it come with <laughs> Halo Infinite? It's not out yet, right? Yeah, it does. But it's not out yet? No. No. It's a pre order. Read it, yeah. bro. Hey, I'm going to need this? you to back the fuck up, Caillou. All right? You need it's to relax. Oh I had God. a question. <laughs> I had a question. Halo. Okay. Man, maybe I should get another PS5. I don't know if you're mocking me. Hey, you want it too? Little Bill, I will. Mmm. I might, I, mean, I might know, I give you. I'm excuse me. Just thought about it, you know. Oh, Never okay. had too many, right? I don't, I don't know. If this is like a diss at me or not, but I'm slowly getting. So, uh, yeah, everybody else's thoughts on people getting fucked to the back if you don't have the vaccine. <laughs> Normal, right? Cool. Uh, no, no. Wash your paws, cover your mouth. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, that's all I got for you. <laughs> Nice. I'm not sure exactly the uh, the precedent or whatever if this is normal that kind of thing. Well, then none of this is normal, right? Like, this, I uh, mean, this leads to a weird thing in the future. Then I'm not going to be surprised, and people shouldn't be surprised if it leads to some other kind of conflicting issue in the in the future. That's I don't know abhorrent or something like that. I'm not going to like be shocked and be like, well, yeah, they did it then. So, well, I mean. mean it helps it helps i guess i'm not sure people can make excuses for this all they want or whatever but if they support it support it. if they don't they don't it's whatever 
to see it in order for me to go to school back in the day, I had to be fully vaccinated and immunized, so... That's, a, that's what I just said, it's fine. It's just, I don't, I'm just saying in general, like, I don't understand why people are so, like, up in arms. Like, you were fully vaccinated to go to school, too. Where was your anger then? Well, what used to be the argument... At every school. Was that... Yeah, some schools didn't require it. Damn. Uh, that's just like a Canadian thing, I guess. Not every school required that here. It was pretty mandatory, unless it was like a religious school up here, I'm pretty sure. Like, we weren't able to go to any school unless we had our immunization up to date. And for girls up here, getting the HPV shot was mandatory. You couldn't bypass it. HPV? Yeah, a shot to prevent HPV. That seems like it's a waste of time. I mean... HPV is a long-lasting STI, so... So what? Oh, well, you know what? If you want to get HPV, your choice, your body, you do you. I mean, you know, I don't fuck everybody around the corner, so I'm probably not going to get it. You, you are a little... <laughs> I support your choice to collect them all. You really are kind of BS, <laughs> Unless you. That's cool. Dude, I really want to get this Xbox, but it literally looks like a small mini fridge. I cannot get over this shape. Dude. This, it, yeah. it just. Like, I like the top of it. It looks cool, but my fucking God, could they have not How thought of another box? Huh? How often would you actually play it, though, for real? Oh, probably like once a year, but I would have it <laughs> just to have, like, bro, I don't make sense. Okay. I would, li I just like to have the convenience of doing things. So I get them. Like I have damn near all of my childhood, like little Game Boy shits, just to fucking look at them. I would love to play them, but like my brain is like, okay, well, what if I wanted to play it? Well, I have the convenience to play it, so I should get it. And then when I get it, I don't fucking play it. But if I would like to play it, I have the option to get it. So, you know, if we get this fucking mini fridge, it'd be cool to have it in the, the living room. Actually, no, the PlayStation 5. You have a, you have a good PC, right? Um, it's okay. Uh. I guess it from point A to point B. <laughs> no, I was trying to like see like you can just play the Xbox games on your PC instead of just going out and buying a whole new console. But, but he wants it to have it. But like, but like, EJ, what, what if? All right, all right, all right, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. All right, all right, all right. What if? I wanted to take mm -hmm. this Xbox from one room to another. Like with a PC, you could do it, but there's just like extra cords and it's it's annoying. But with a mini fridge, it's just like you know, two little two cords, bing bop, and you just bring it into your room. You know, so you could technically, yes, you could play the same games on the PC, but you can't move a PC as easy as you could as a mini fridge. That's a right. new thing comes out: the Steam little console. Oh yeah, the Steam Switch. Oh yeah, I have no urgency to get that, but it, you know. Yeah. But you you make a good point, Jack. My bad, my bad. See, yeah, that, so that's, that's what I'm here for, man. Know your lane. Yeah. Oh wow. But I mean, you can also get decent gaming la laptops as well too for mobility. Yeah, like me. Yeah, I like me. Would never get a gaming laptop. I would. Uh... What you trying to say? Hey, no, no, look, 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 just like the vaccine, we're all free to do what we want to do, because we're in America, but, uh, I think we should mandate gaming laptops for everyone, otherwise, you know, they shouldn't be allowed in grocery stores. Bro, I, I would be insatiably mad at you if you got that through fucking laws. You're just looking at me the entire time. Dude, like, you don't <laughs> own a gaming laptop. You can't go to a gaming convention. Dude, you are I banned. Was, I was. I'm, I'm running for Congress just for this. Do it, bro. I will. I will support that campaign. What if? What if I like? Is it? It would be bad to say. Like, is this how like unvaccinated people feel like? Like <laughs> this, is the, this is the cruelty we're having to face. Like, oh my god. Now you understand, bro. <laughs> I have to carry a fucking gaming laptop. Yeah, we... Uh, I still... 
This is in stock right the fuck now, dude. This is here. Yeah. Wait, no, it says pre-order, you fucking pussy! Wait a fucking yeah. minute! Dude, it's not out yet. Fucking what are you doing? Hey, you didn't fucking read. Okay, look. What did you call me? Look, look, look. I thought if you get the fucking Xbox, you would get the Xbox, and then maybe you would have like a little card that's like a pre-order for the game that you would just download and have that on your system. Uh, apparently not. You thought uh, wrong, bitch. Yeah, I, I did think wrong. <laughs> this kind of makes me mad. Well, but then I could also, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm having Drew problems now. Fuck. You have too much money, man. And you're just like, wow, I just can't. I can't pick. Like it's just one or two or the both, you know? Right, true. He he's probably still getting his food or his laundry Dude, or whatever. So oh, okay. I thought that was Chris. That is fucking gross. Man, I, you know, Drew with his new money, he's become a different person. Bro, he a whole can new just person. Right? He can leave and not give a fuck about what is happening, man. You give him a little bit of money and all of a sudden he's like, okay, well, you know, gotta go do my laundry. Fucking With my extra washer. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, you know what I'm saying? Help us keep your account safe by pressing and holding the checkbox below. Are you... Oh yeah, dude. Can we not like have a whole podcast that. where you just like go back and forth by getting a fucking Xbox? <laughs> well, like, I, I don't know if that actually works. It's Be just to make me. sure that it, Chris. It's just to make sure that it's a human trying to get the help same. Me figure out what I want. Better, right? uh, I don't give a shit. What's the next question? But I want. I want you to help me. But I want the thing. Fine, dude. All right. Everybody had a lot of fucking opinions. This is great. Oh, great. On to the next. No, thing. everyone had what I thought they would have. Uh, I just say you do you, boo <laughs> boo. Great. I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. On to the next. Nirvana sued by Baby from Nir Nir Nevermind's album cover. Uh, those are the alleging biggest... child pornography, saying that it has long term yeah. lasting effects on his well being. Yeah. The dudes and like, I'm sorry. This. Hey, why are you laughing at people's off, trauma, but... asshole? Why are you laughing at CP? <laughs> but... Hasn't he no, recreated no. the photo though? He said, "When I go to a baseball game." <laughs> hold on, hold on! Don't tell me what? that's true. Did he do that? I think he what? did. Hey, no fucking photo. way! No! What happened? I'm pretty sure he's recreated the photo. He did. Yeah, he recreated yeah, he the photo with him fully tattooed, long he's hair, wearing shorts. It. You dumb. Okay, you cannot you fucking sue. You cannot sue. How the fuck does that make any fucking sense? Okay, okay, maybe, just maybe, you you just, let's say you were a baby, you had no consent of someone taking a fucking picture of you and your dick out at the age of like <laughs> 0.2. Okay, cool. And you didn't do any recreations, you didn't do nothing, and you were like 32 and you're still having like physical, no, it's physical, mental bullshit that comes with it? Maybe. Just, okay, all right. Maybe yeah. I can understand the suing. Pussy, you, you cr recreated it? No, there's no understanding the suing in any way. But there's nothing, uh, no, I, there's again, nothing. There is, I'm not saying that there, like the suing would be like, would make sense at all, but I could see a little bit of a leeway. Just a little bit, because you're a baby, you didn't consent to that shit. Someone just say, hey, dunk that fucking baby under the water and let me take a picture <laughs> and so that we could do some rock band shit in the behind of it. I Okay, maybe. Just a little bit. But bruh... I mean, the whole, like, psychological thing that he's saying is really dumb, because, like, six years ago, he said, it's always been a very positive thing for me, and it's opened a lot of doors. <laughs> so he's lying. Basically. Uh, yeah, dude, he's trying to get some money. Well, <laughs> but, like he said, uh, when I go to a baseball game and think about it, man, everybody at the baseball game has probably seen my little baby penis. <laughs> I feel like I have part of my human rights for both. I mean, uh, if it still looks like that, I can see why you're probably mad, but like... Bro, that's actual size right there. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is, is that like you... No body shame, first of all, and second of all, <laughs> I don't, uh... I don't get. I don't. I don't get it. What is this guy on about? I think if this had long-term lasting effects on him, he wouldn't have celebrated the album cover throughout his 
teenage years than early adult life and then now is citing it because you like if you're gonna if you're gonna say it traumatized you you wouldn't really want to associate with that thing anymore yeah. especially if it had long-term lasting psychological effects unless you went through proper treatment to overcome that trauma and you're like reclaiming it back for like whatever projects for yourself that you want to do but the fact is is that whenever you do a photo shoot like that you have to sign a release agreement it's mandatory it's standard procedure for any commercial use you sign a release form so he's alleging that the band never made his parents sign a form to release his image he's citing that um this makes him look like a sex worker because he's a baby chasing Ooh. after a dollar bill and he's also stating that this uh sexualizes infants and i when i look at a nirvana album i don't go like that's hot i go like it's nirvana you, <laughs> like you don't, you don't look, uh, the in utero picture and you don't go fuck dude hell yeah <laughs> can't say i have but it's just like i don't know like if it is having actual effects on him like i feel bad but at the same time standard agreement even back in the 90s you had to sign a release form for that no this guy's uh, a liar I, i'm gonna say it it's a weird time or to come out for out. this it, i don't know i i can't find anything where it states that he's on anything but he says that his true any illegal name are forever tied to the commercial sexual exploitation he experienced as a minor which has been distributed and sold worldwide from the time he was a baby to the present. Uh, and he claims that he suffered lifelong damages and as a result of the artwork, including extreme and permanent emotional distress, as well as interference with his normal development and educational progress and medical and psychological treatment. So he's he's suing the the Cobain estate and Dave Grohl and Chris no- Novoselic and Courtney Love and Kirk Weddle. Oh. So he's just going for everybody. He's just like I'm going for you, going for your wife, I'm going for everybody. Dang, this guy's a fraud. I think maybe he came into hard times. Possibly. I mean, um, if if he was have he was if he was relating this shit to a good time, <clears throat> and just COVID just happened, he probably doesn't have a job. Like, man, what can I do? Like, you should do in your own mind, maybe, maybe he's just like get in his own head. Oh yeah, well, who knows? I mean, I don't see how this would impact his ability to get work because he can use this as like a way to get into. Alternative modeling by saying, like, I was the poster child for Nirvana's Nevermind album, and he would get a lot of clothing deals to work with different brands. So, he the opportunity is there. Uh, I don't know why he hasn't thought of it. Maybe he doesn't want to be in that type of spotlight, but this certainly isn't helping. Bro, if fucking Ari Lehman can fucking make a, make a career out of being the first Jason... Then this guy can make help hella bank just for being on Nirvana's album. But <clears throat> this is funny. Uh, I find this quite comical, and uh, how is anybody gonna recognize you from that fucking picture, bro? Like you. If, if this is really a situation like i don't think i could see that person and i can imagine who the adult is like this is a this is such a non-issue in so many different ways also nope can't look at that yeah this is dumb i don't, <laughs> I don't get it. anyone else's take wrong well, he's a victim though i gotta believe him it's it's not just dumb it's dumb as shit no, oh, okay, okay, okay. I like that. That's dumb. I mean, we'll see what the court says, but I don't think he's going to win this case because the only way that 
people are going to know that it was you is if your parents signed for an agreement for you to be released into commercial use and be credited for such, which means that your family was cut something, whether it was a long-term royalty check for life or just like a lump sum during that photo shoot. I don't know. You don't need to be credited, just for the record, but I understand your point. If they sign a, a commercial release, usually the child is credited. Usually. 98% of the time it is, unless the parents say that they don't want the child's credit it. But clearly, these parents did, which is why this dude had his name out there since age one. Um, Yeah. Hey, he keeps suing everybody, bro. I like this. Continue. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. That's, That's how it works. And if it did affect you long term, I hope you get the help you need. I hope you're doing it. Can someone tell me that this Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot is not right? Like, this isn't real, right? Flamin' Hot Cheerios? Have you seen that? Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew? Here, give me a second. What? Give me what a the fuck? I think Jason. I mean, I'm gonna in. try it, but what the sweet, fuck? Bro. You don't have to be ready for Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew, but it's happening. Well, I'll let you know uh, what I think whenever it comes out. You're not doing that. Oh, I you're absolutely scared. am. You, you are not doing that. Heartburn, oh, acid new, reflux. I've already got a new flavor of Mountain Dew on its way to my house right now. Okay, okay. it's not Bro, flaming hot. This guy that needs to drink yeah. this. Okay. I was gonna look as a friend. I can't let you drink liquid fucking flaming hot anything, sir. <laughs> like this does I mean, not sound good for your soul. No, yeah. See, here's the thing. I'm not going to get like a 24 pack and down them. I'm going to get the smallest size available, ideally, uh, you know, one fucking bottle and try it. You could also just not. No, nah, I'm going to. <laughs> Bro, my this... sister's looking at that. Yeah, dude, this is indigestion. <laughs> this is heart disease. This is like your ass hurting right when you take a yes. shit. This is, oh my God. I'm not expecting it to taste good. I'm going to take one swig and be like, yeah, this isn't good, and then pour it out. Okay. But why? That's a waste of money, aren't you, for being economic? No, no, no. This is the rich him now. He can do this shit. (laughs) All right? I told you money would change him. He got it now. This has nothing nothing to do with how much money I earn, Carlos. I will always, always try the new flavors of Mountain Dew and Red Bull. Mm -mm. He's a hedonist. Uh... Mm -mm. Me, I have tried life of excess. You I have changed, tried every. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not. I've always done this. I've done this for the last few years. <laughs> All this talk of being for the people, and this is what you become. <laughs> He's one of us. Hey, hey, Carlos. Hey, Carlos. What is this? Oh, never mind. That's just zero. Okay. I don't care. Oh, yeah, this God. is. <laughs> look at, look, at Andrew. Man, Andrew, fuck the people. I need my Mountain Dew. Look, man, <laughs> out of uh, over a year of pod, I ain't never seen this side of you, man. So, but, but we did change one thing, and now, you know, you, uh, you coming in with the X energy, and that's okay. You know, that's fine. You, you could just get this uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel Zero Charged Watermelon Shock, because uh, you got Dude. it like that. Didn't there used to be just like three flavors? Um, Not anymore. I remember when I was little, it was Mountain Dew, Code Red, and Livewire. Oh, Code Red was so fucking. It was those three. I just fucking fun. hated Code Red. I don't like Code Red. I like Livewire. Uh, that blue one there, Carlos. Uh, Voltage. Voltage is good. Oh. That's the best one. Major Major Melon is actually really good. Dude, it's five ninety nine. I don't ever buy soda like ever ever, but it's five ninety nine for a twelve pack. Good. Like, that sounds really cheap. Uh, it's all right. Not. It's yeah. It's good. That's I mean, awesome. yeah, that's that's a decent price. Like seven bucks where I work, so good. I I don't know why I'm sitting here trying to get like diabetes, but this looks good. So just, <laughs> you don't have to order it, Carlos. Look at yeah. fucking uh, look at that water that's dyed uh black or whatever black water. What is it called? Excuse me. Black yeah, water. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, a, I had that. I... Huh, Carlos? Look at that three pack on the bottom right. The yellow, uh, blue, and orange. What'd you say, Zach? Uh, I said Austin tried about the black water. 
I like Game of Thrones. Uh, my mom had a um, box of books, and you know, I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, this is about to be, you know, some different, some like, some new shit. Well, Grab the cold one out the fridge, and I was so disappointed, bro. It was just water. It was, uh, yeah, yeah it's just, just, <laughs> just water that black. Yeah, I was, I was just like, bro, this should taste like yeah. something. I could have tried to drink it. It was very, like, my brain couldn't get over the fact that it was, right. like, not water looking. Like, the same way how, uh, you remember those, the, the, I know we talked about this, like, the ketchup that was different colors. The green colored ketchup. I, I was so fucking oh, I stoked when I got that. Yeah, I, I was stoked when I got the green. And then when I, like, mixed it in, I was like, Ooh, I can't what do I this. That? Dude, it's like Shrek <laughs> came in my fucking food. I cannot have this. This is fucking. Oh, yes, it tastes please. like ketchup. I ate it because it looked weird. <laughs> Carlos is fake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Uh, <laughs> wasn't that big, big a fan of ketchup anyway, so I wasn't like a green ketchup kid anyway. I, what I did honestly, fuck with was the uh, the like little peanut butter and jelly combo shit, where it was like one slot and it was like back, you know what I'm talking about, where it was like back and forth. Yeah, and jelly. yeah. That shit, I used to eat that a lot, and now I look at it and I'm like, this looks fucking nice. <laughs> I will still get Uncrustables every so often. Oh, I'm you, ever, with that. you ever put Dude, them in the I air fryer? I love Uncrustables. Yeah, what, fucking Carlos? air fryer them, put fucking cinnamon sugar on top of it. Money. Oh, oh, fucking well, money. I don't weigh pounds, I'm going to do that. Money. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I said, I don't weigh 500 pounds, I'm not going to do all that. Dude, oh, you just hate <laughs> good tasting food. My fucking bad, you unimaginative <laughs> pussy. Jesus Christ. Do, do y'all eat cold? Do y'all eat cold or hot? Both? Um, what, both, the Uncrustables? Yeah. Both. Cold. I'll even fucking room temperature if I got it. I don't care. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I need that. I in my heat body. Them up. I'll eat them whatever temperature they are, but I won't heat them up occasionally frozen. The only time I eat them hot is if I'm air frying them. That's all I need. Fucking, I'll pop open a soda room temperature if I want. I don't You're really care. You're fucking no, gross. No, no, it's got to be cold. No, oh, oh you no, no, both no, of you are no, heathens. No, no, what the valid. fuck is that's that? Valid. What? That's valid. I, can't that's valid. Hot. I can't have it hot. But room temperature, I can do. Sometimes I'll hot. Hot. That's too much. What? It also kind of yeah. depends on the soda because, like, Coca Cola, I feel like is actually pretty good room temperature. But like, uh, true. Like Pepsi or Dr Pepper, I feel like they need to be a little bit more cold. Dr Pepper is best ice cold. Yeah, close to it. Yeah, something like that. This is gonna sound stupid, but what's like, cooler than being cool? Oh, he's cool. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. All right, all right, all right, all right. You're really reading your reviews for Mountain Dew. What do you say? Are you really reading reviews from Mountain Dew? Okay, look, 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 look. I'll review it for you. Look, look, look. Again, I was just curious because the can was black. <laughs> I was like. Is the liquid black? Like, no fucking way. So I was Did trying to look through the it? pictures to see if they have... <laughs> if they have a picture of just the, the liquid. The liquid. The liquid. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bowl of liquid. <laughs> so that's what I was looking for, and I, I couldn't find it. So, um... Would you be able to... Uh, you couldn't drink the black water, right? Because you said it, it, yeah, it, no. it fucked you up. Mentally, visually. I cannot do it, no. It just reminded me of my own tap water, so I was fine for me. But like, what about like boxed water? Drink that. Dude, I'll I'll try. Try that shit. I would try boxed water yeah, for I the would, sake of it. I would try it too, because now that I like um, liquid death, I think um, I'm open to water in different forms. Just not. That's not crazy. Like, not you know. Dude, canned water is wild. Like Sam's Club water. Niggas drinking canned water. Yeah, bro, liquid death, dog. Brother, brother, brother. You ever yeah, taste the environment, bro? You ever, you ever lick a mountain? Yeah. No. Nah. Well, I mean, you cans get are more, ready. The cans are better than the fucking plastic. I live in Florida. We don't I have those. Yeah. Sure you do. What the fuck is a mountain? <laughs> Look, it's for you people that never licked a mountain before. We got mountain water canned. <laughs> bro, I'm surrounded by fresh water, so come at me. Fresh water, I mean, bro. I'm not so sure it's fresh, homie. Bro, 
it's as fresh as my pee, bro. Don't don't give me that shit. All right, don't do disrespect the mountain water. So it's drinkable. Is what okay? you're saying. I mean, for we you, have the real liquid death water up here because Lake Erie has a lot of dead bodies in it. Wow, that's that's yeah. that's great. Hey, uh, that touches, that touches <laughs> hey, see, that, that's what that is. <laughs> The only fucking great lake I wouldn't drink out of is Lake Michigan. Uh, I need this mini fridge. This is fucking lit. What the fuck? Why? Dude, what's wrong? How about you just don't? But like, how about you can do what he wants for his money? Carlos, yeah. do whatever you want to do. Thanks, no, man. No. Thanks no. for supporting yeah. me, brother. No. Oh, Carlos, Carlos, it, Carlos, think no. about getting another PS5, Sally. Jenny could have one, and you could have the other. But, that way, but, there's no fighting over who gets to play on the PS5. Suit, dude. But, I can but, but, one so but, that I could play with you, bro. It's a circle of life. But, you can have mine. Oh, <laughs> I'd be down for that if you're, if you're serious. I can't play PS5 games, but you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> You can have a PS5 that doesn't play PS5 games. That's fucking good. It plays PS4 games perfectly. <laughs> so it's PS4. Fuck it. No, it's PS5. It's got oh, it's sold out. Oh, what? So did you did you just get the digital version? No, I got one that's fucked up. What? Yeah. Wait. Gotta... So so you have a PS5 that only plays PS4 games? Yeah. If I try to play a PS5 game, it'll play it for like a minute and then it'll crash. Soft crash. You got it for free, right? Uh, essentially, yeah. Oh, that's that's just funny. Funny. I off PS5. Austin, I no, promise you... No, I got you, an actual PS5, but I had like four <laughs> gift cards. I promise you, before it was given to you, they knocked that bitch around the warehouse and just said, oh, that dude's getting it? She... Oh, yeah, fuck I, still, I still gotta call Sony and be like, hey, you now fucked that up. The warehouse guys were, were using it. They had it for like a year. For, for like six months. I mean, I know those warehouse guys. Those guys, it up, those so guys are fucking lame. They're, those guys are losers. They wouldn't do that. They're fucking like suck ups. So Look, I don't know what warehouse you've been working at, but you ain't got right. up here. Like, yeah. I can promise you. Oh my god, you. Oh my god it's almost what? like different warehouses are different. Hey, EJ, oh I'm my gonna god, give it's you... almost as if people oh, watched the stream, heard your go. voice, and decided to give you a fucked up PS5 go. for karma. Oh. Yeah, hey, I'm just trying to get EJ to lick a mountain, bro. Is that so fucking hard, bro? I'm trying to. No, I'm not I, doing that. I need you to lick, <laughs> dude. This EJ, you're in Florida, dude. What's the ass. worst that could happen? You're already at like fucking. You know, you're already at over America anyway. <laughs> okay, Florida is the best state. I don't care. Florida is the best state. Okay. Florida is okay. the worst state by okay. far. It's the okay. asshole of America. What was the last time you've been to Florida? <laughs> no, no, no. Mississippi is the worst state, bar none. Yeah, I would argue California is pretty bad. I You're thought you were going to say Alabama. Yeah, but just all like... right. Okay. No, Alabama, Alabama is where all the best porn is made. Mississippi oh. is worst in literally every single metric. And I just met so much to so di dissect right now. What the fuck? Guys, what, Carlos? there's a lot to dissect. Um, I just wanted EJ to like mountain water, and then he said something completely fucked. Um, Florida is not the best state, bro. Florida. What's better than Florida? What's better than Florida? Montana. Fuck it. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Montana for fun. I promise you, this is like the the inner Puerto Rican to me Montana, because you know bro. every Puerto Rican that you will ever meet will have a flag, a tattoo, a fucking blanket, and a rug of Puerto Rico. So I think this is me saying Texas has to be one of the best fucking states, bar none, to any other one. Um, yeah. not no, for one. No comparison, you pussy. Florida, you're about to be underwater in two years, pussy. You cannot talk to me. You cannot talk to me, bro. My state, my state is gonna be in the mountains, rejoicing, brother. Okay, but, but what does everybody go for vacation to get lit? Where you want to go to have a stable home yeah, life and have yeah, a fucking family? Wrong. That's not where people go to vacation. That's where old people go to retire. Yeah, so pussy. You, go you got old people, bitches, bro. bro. I mean, you know, everybody, everybody really goes to Miami, where I'm from, to do Atlanta, drugs, or Tampa, to do really drugs. We're all going to be underwater, so we're going to oh, go, yeah, like, everyone's fucking, your... fucking killing it in Tampa. I can't believe that I'm... <laughs> what was that? Who's the seal? 
I just want to. fucking city I want to party at. It's fucking Tampa. Standard. <laughs> what? Oh. The, <laughs> the best thing Tampa has is fucking Brady. Oh, <laughs> hey, man, after that, uh, let's go to fucking Jacksonville. I'm sure it's popping off there. Hey, 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 no, hey, hey Jacksonville, hey, hey. Oh, we, we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Jack, yeah, nah. I mean, Destin is quite nice. It's the it's barely in Florida, so it's barely shit. You know, it's not bad. My it's... folks always wanted to go to Fort Lauderdale, but I was like, whatever. Well, um, I guess never. But, mind. You know, we, we got the keys and all that. You know, people. It's Florida is where it's like that's gonna be underwater again. So hey, whatever. Man, you, well, you might have the future president there, so who knows? <sighs> Fuck, that's a stretch. That's a hard stretch. Hort. I think you'd be surprised. Horde. I think you'd be surprised, Carlos. Horde. That's if fucking Trump isn't running, which he probably will be. So he's not gonna. No. Possible. No. Yeah, Florida ain't gonna have no future president. They're gonna have future. Twenty twenty eight, bro. Let's they're, go. They're gonna have a future underwater museum as a whole state, bro. It's gonna yeah, be the I next Atlantis. Oh, they were, saying, they were saying that shit in like two thousand ten. Like I'm fucking still waiting for it. Okay, well, two thousand. Well, yeah, first off, why are you waiting for it? Uh, secondly, it's twenty. No, that, that was a when little is too ambitious. When's San Andreas Fault gonna fucking throw California in the, the water? I'm waiting for that too. When's that gonna happen? California is not that bad. Bro. I'm waiting for fucking Yellowstone to explode and destroy us all. When's uh, that gonna happen? I mean, yeah. with the state of how everything is going, uh, I would say uh, everything's free game at this point. Bro, I'm about to check dive my deep on that. EJ, what'd you say? Um, my friend had um went to Cali for uh, for a trip, mm-hmm. and he came back saying that Cali is just a shitty Florida. Basically. Okay, okay, okay. Where did he go? Cali is Florida with a with better weather. To so Hollywood and LA. Okay, so LA oh. has to be one of the trashiest areas and extremely <clears throat> expensive. I can understand why. If you go to um, apparently like San Jose is beautiful. San Diego is beautiful, uh, just because of, that's where all the money is. Um, if you go to mm-hmm. San Francisco, I, I thought, football team, though. yeah, I thought uh, San Francisco would be pretty. Um, we <laughs> we didn't know that, so I went with Jenny and we stayed next to the Tenderloin District, which is where all the homeless people are. So when you walk out, it's literally to the right. It's like high rises and like kind of okay, but then to the left, it's like. Did you Straight, any shit? It's just disgusting. It's like <laughs> fucking hobos. There's needles. There's like just gross shit. Like um, Vancouver. Vancouver. Thank you. So I can understand why, but 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 California, honestly, I feel like is I don't know if it would be better than Florida. That's a no. that's a stretch. Unless you have money, I would rather go to California yes. than Florida. Meh. What a shock. Yeah. I, figured, I think North Cal would be all right, but like, fuck SoCal. I'm not going near it. I think the problem is in the middle because like North Cal is all just like, I would assume, lovely nature, trees, mountains, all the, all the naturistic Red shit. and shit. Yeah. yeah. And then you get to the middle is where just trash is. It's just nothing like, but big trash. Stockton. <laughs> and then like Stockton and shit. you start to go a little bit lower. And I think well, that's where like San Jose and San Diego are, which are like apparently beautiful. So it's, you know. Just don't go, uh, don't go above. Okay, don't go below the redwoods. And don't go above San San Houston, wherever the fuck that one of the sands are. LA. And don't go. I I will say I have also been to L A for work and everything. It's fucking terrible. I do not like it, dude. It hey, cost me fifteen dollars for Asian food. Like one little box of Asian food. It was fifteen dollars, and they were charging me three dollars for fucking water. I was fucking furious. Three dollars for water? Don't you get me fucking started? But yes, it was a. Uh, it was how quite annoying. Fucking, how about instead of all that, we go to Albuquerque? What? Don't you? You Mexico? keep saying no, some free. fuck shit, I'll bro. I'm no. okay going into Mexico. No, Mexico, dude. It's like the fucking. What? Just leave, leave, leave. I'd be down with that. It's like Breaking Bad everywhere, bro. We had to. <laughs> okay, so we had to go to New Mexico <laughs> to drive up to Colorado, bro. I yeah, cannot tell really? you. I mean, and fucking Zach has is driven through, so he probably understands. New Mexico has to be one of the <laughs> worst fucking places to drive through, bar fucking none. There is this weird orange tinge. 
at all fucking times when you're in the oh, fucking no state. Yeah. No fucking way, bro. I thought That's I was in an episode of Breaking bro. Bad. Fuck off. No. No fucking way. Bro, you're fucking high, bro. You're fucking dumb. Not, bro. I, okay. No. You. You came in. I see. I see what happened with you. You came in with rose colored like glasses, so the tinge went down, so you saw normal. I ain't got no fucking glasses, brother. I had sun. I, I didn't even have sunglasses. I had like prescription sunglasses, like I have now. That shit. Just get right to bed. You didn't. There was a fucking bro. tinge, bro. Bro. You ever see Breaking you, Bad? Had... Yeah. What is that? All over. I. So shit's popping off. Like you got planes exploding over your head and shit. It's lit. There's a fucking volcano, bro. It's wild. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think Hell I really yeah, like exploding. Albuquerque or New Mexico, bro. I, 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 You're a homebody, bro. We get it. It's cool. I've traveled the most here, pussy. I'm not no homebody. Yeah, and that's and that's. I know homebody. Yeah, you are. Yeah, no, you are. I might. I might have you beat technically. Not at all. Maybe, maybe like different like countries like outside of the like North America's probably. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been to Europe. So yeah, I you mean, got, got me on that. Europe. You got me on that. But in the North, in the NAs, I got you. Yeah, oh. North America probably. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to go to the European unions, uh, but uh, have yeah, fun with that. Well, Jenny said that London was pretty cool, but all I heard is that it smells like shit, and the food is like. All I heard is that all dogs. I heard is that it fucking drills a hole in your wallet. Yeah, I don't, I don't want. You know, I like my it's wallet. Expensive everywhere. They say, they say, they say, fucking London and fucking Sydney are like the two most expensive places ever. Drew and I like our um, wallets, you know. <laughs> I would say go, to Europe, go to Switzerland. Switzerland is fantastic, and Austria is beautiful too. I like that. I want to go I'll somewhere. Go to, like, it's dangerous. I'll go, go to Switzerland like, and get my Mountain Dew there. Oh, let's go to like well, Belarus or fucking like be uh, fucking flaming hot, dude. Oh my! God. <laughs> sort of like Czechoslovakia or some shit. That'd be kind of crazy. Check out the who the what? No, no. I'll go. I'll go to the nice parts of the of Europe. Nah, thank fuck you. That. Let's go to like fucking uh, Kazakhstan or some shit like that. Something crazy. If you want to be in on that dark tourism shit, good for you. <laughs> I feel like that one British dude that got trapped in Afghanistan. <laughs> oh no, thank you. No. Oh. Like recently? Oh no. Yeah, when they when the Taliban took over, there was this one dude that's like, guys, I'm kind of in a pickle here. Oh <laughs> man. I, I think did he get trapped there or did he volunteer to stay back? Because some people are staying back to expedite no, the visa process. No, he was uh he was vacationing there and he just Oh stuck well <laughs> and he's like, uh, I'm just gonna try to stick it out and see what goes on. <laughs> so, uh, like, I would it. I don't know yeah. why, but I had the thought like this morning when I was working out, like, how much are tickets to Afghanistan? Like, they had to be, Dude, like, $2, I've right? That. I've heard, have you ever seen this, like, interview? These dudes are on the street, and they're just interviewing random people. And this one dude, they add, they were asking, like, the question, like, what's the most fucked up thing you think about or do or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, just, like, random shit like that. And he's like, every time there's, like, a disaster or, like, an event, I get tickets to go to that place because it's super cheap. Yep. He's like, what? Oh, I mean, it's not... It's not dumb, you know. You're getting it at a good price there, but uh, and, and they're probably not gonna have, do anything that, that again immediately there. Like they've already hit there. Okay, I'm gonna look from Dallas to Kabul. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if you can go there anymore. So uh, probably not. Probably like down with some like that so. Hold on. Oh shit! There's only one flight. <laughs> only one flight. We better go, dude, right now. Dude, it is 24 hours to get there, and it is. Nine hundred and twenty nine dollars, or you can spend seven grand to go from here to Lufthansa. Lufthansa. That sounds like a black lasagna. I don't know what the fuck. It could be a mix of lasagna. I have no fuck. Oh wait, no. It goes to LAX and then France and then Istanbul and then Jesus. Yeah, that's Lufthansa. worth it. it. Sounds like a social worker. You're, you're going opinion. on a trip for that one, dude. I thought it'd be cheaper. What's 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 the hold up here? Why turn the cookies off? Well, I mean, like the fucking uh, the country's like locked down now, dude. You can't go. In. It's like how how fucking expensive are plane tickets to North Korea? I don't know. Actually, are there commercial flights to North fucking Korea? 
I I don't know. Uh, like... <laughs> Google said, "Ah, oh, snap, no results." Okay. Well, <laughs> fuck. What is that? No. Oh, what is that? Google. Go to Bing. Go to Bing. Yeah, fuck Google. The fuck? Bing, bro. If you want good porn, Bing. Bing. You want Bing. real results, Bing. Wait, now you got my attention. Hold on. What you mean? Good if porn. you want, some, go to fucking Bing videos and just look that up. Save shit off. Boom. What? <laughs> I'm being dead serious. Porn. I don't believe. Really? Look it up right now. You might have me getting Bing here. I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> Look up. What's Look up, up, Mickey? Fucking uh, big booty bitches on fucking Bing. I'm not saying Bing, that I am or am I not got doing Bing, this. Booty bitches. I got Bing. You gotta make sure the explicit their safe search is off. I'm not saying that I'm doing this right now. <laughs> so you're doing this right now? I'm not saying that I'm not, but I'm just saying that you know, if I'm going on the safe <laughs> search, I'm going to off, <laughs> and you know, just gonna. I got, the nice thing is I got like preview, so you can just like mouse over. And Why do you know it. so much? Because he's a horny dog, bro. Oh, okay, my bad. Because I, I looked it up, dude. That's why. What do you mean? I'm scared. Why, How do you feel you about me? Chris Chan? No, oh, Mickey, let's not. Oh, let's no, not. Mickey, no. Mickey, let's no, not. Let's not, dude. No, I haven't, no. fucking, I haven't given the lore to the guys yet. You can't fucking just pop <laughs> this shit up. What, what happened? No, oh, I don't, 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 ask, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Okay. Listen, you say one of the funniest people ever. It's ruined. But like, it shouldn't be. But it is. Wait, Carlos, were you? Oh, I watched a whole 30 minutes about this dumbass. Oh, okay. No, I complete. Okay, I am here now. For some reason, I was looking at houses, and then on YouTube, this shit just popped. I think I was following um, Ordinary People, that, that dude on fucking YouTube. And he was like... You don't, you don't know about the recent shit, right? Oh, no, 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 I do. Uh, so he was talking Damn. about, like, why he was okay with Chris Chan until the foul shit that she did... Uh, Whatever, just like a bit ago. So, how do I feel about Chris Chan? Ah, uh, <laughs> um, fuck. It's fucked. It's gross. It's terrible. It's abuse. It's not right. What? Also, Nikki, I'm just curious. Why? Like, like you were just, you just, you just got done with lunch. And you're just like, Man, I want to see what Captain think about Chris Chan. Did you know Chris Chan? Did you know about Chris Chan before I showed you? I don't know if this is no. I, I know you. I know you didn't. I didn't know until I watched yeah, the doc. Girl, you didn't know, but uh, uh, Austin, Ruby, Nikki, and I we uh, stayed in chat after a movie night. And just talked about Christian. Oh, I gave some of the. I gave some of the backstory. Not all of it, but some of it. <laughs> Good for you, man. He's like the most interesting person ever, but it's over now. It is one hundred percent over, and I believe he's been charged. To be he, fair, he, it, it's, it's been it's been it's been dark days uh, since like fucking twenty fifteen. But you know, there was some there's some funny shit in between when he like pepper sprayed people at GameStop. Uh, you know, some shit happened, but now it's over. Christian. Mm -mm. All right. On to the next topic that I my forgot we even had to talk about. angry at me. They're Thoughts. blaming me. It's my fault. Thoughts uh, on... Atomic. Oh, wait. Hold on. Is this real? Am I tripping? Hold on. What do you... What? I thought this was a done deal because this doesn't make sense. Uh, only done, fans done, done, backing done, done. down and allowing their 18 plus content to remain. That... Fucking cowards can't okay. go through with it, pussies. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ruby, <laughs> give me the backstory because I could have sworn... They would have done this because I feel like, I mean, I listened to podcasts. So one of the takes was that um, they were trying to get rid of this 18 plus shit so that they can kind of get into the form of having no lewd shit and possibly sell to some other company and make like a shit ton of money off of it. But they had to get rid of the 18 plus stuff. But uh, also so kind of like kind of like how Reddit did it, sort of. Yeah, but they slightly. But but it still exists on Reddit, right? Like this this is more of yeah 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 yeah. The the, the way I thought this was probably gonna go was the way Tumblr did it, and now Tumblr's completely irrelevant because they're dumbasses. But I thought that is what the game plan was gonna be here. 
what i know there's also content where it's like it doesn't have to be 18 plus per se it's just you know people in bikinis which is you know well, technically well, I mean, normal. They, they were gonna uh, i don't think they were gonna care if it succeeds afterwards right like that's the plan like they're just gonna get it so it's super um clean buyer friendly buyer yeah. friendly and then just fucking sell it for the, as the max that they could because i think they're at the like the precipice right now it's not gonna get higher than now i don't think no and that's what i thought we were going to head to because when i saw that we're going to get rid of the 18 okay they're selling or yeah. they're just trying to get more ad revenue or sponsors or something so that walmart can say oh we back only fans because it's clean now and blah to fucking blah but uh i also heard that there was something about like credit card companies pressuring them too interesting so maybe that was just a rumor i heard but i thought i heard something about that how they're like hey hold on we got to transform this because da 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 because it's a credit card company you know so but maybe that's something else okay uh, how to do with their bank investors and uh paypal being a form of use as well too and they wanted to make it a little more investor friendly is what yeah. they went for yeah so they were trying to get rid of like the more explicit content which included nudity and uh porn but in their clause they were like you can still post loot stuff but it has to be artful and tasteful and a lot of people bypass that because a lot of people were trying to justify saying, no, they're still at like 18 plus. You just can't watch someone get railed anymore. And it's like, no, they were trying to make it so it's implied nudity and not like actual nudity. If you read the clause. So now after the outcry against OnlyFans and people saying like, you made your bank off of sex workers and so now you're turning your back on them. And a lot of people were linking sources to sex workers on where to go for selling their content such as Fansly, which verifies accounts, which makes it a lot easier for them to actually get their account going and legitimate and able to process funds faster. And OnlyFans was in a panic way, like, oh, fuck, like, we made a mistake, right? We're going to lose a lot of money because they're switching. And they double down and they're like, yeah, we're gonna, we heard you guys. We're going to keep it 18 plus. <laughs> we love our content creators. And I'm like, of course. You don't love them. You love the money. Don't lie. Don't bullshit. Don't say, I'm doing this for you. I'm on your guys' side. You I made you this for you. Were you. <laughs> you knew you were losing them fast, and you doubled down, and you doubled down hard, and you took it up the ass. Bro, I think someone someone had to have been like, Y'all want to be like Tumblr? Because I like the money, and y'all are not doing this correctly. Y'all, y'all want to follow that path? And then I don't know. I maybe still, think, I like, still eh. think it's. I still think it's something like Carlos said. Like they, they thought about like, they they were gonna go through with selling it just to get out of it because they were kind of like over the thing. They wanted to invest in new stuff, the guys or whatever, those owners. But maybe they uh. Maybe they're like, hold on, maybe we can make more bank out of this, and they just backtracked it because of uh, outcry, and they're like. Maybe we can make a profit still over this. So that had to have been it, dude. Like again, Tumblr but... was kind of looking to sell. The only thing that they had was some eighteen plus shit. They got rid of it, then they sold to Yahoo, I believe, or whoever the fuck bought it. And now they're trash, completely irrelevant. What is Yahoo? Even... Yahoo don't do jack shit no more. I think the only good thing losses. Yahoo does, the only good thing Yahoo does, is like their finances section, right? Their finances, yeah. That I will say is actually pretty fucking good. Everything else is pretty trash, in my humble. Yahoo life. is the email you use when you want to just sign up for when like were... plus site yep. oh, yeah. and you when don't want to get busted. When you oh, were yeah. in 2005, <laughs> not that Yahoo <laughs> yeah, was my first same email. Here. Same here. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. That's yeah. the email I, I put in when I'm like on a website, and they're like, "Give us your email." And I don't want to, you know, sign up for an account. So I just check out as guest or whatever. It's like, yeah, no, you're getting the Yahoo email. I think I had Hotmail before that, actually. Yeah, so did I. Hell, hold on. Or AOL, one of them. <laughs> the retirement. Anyway, I will say it's it's kind of funny. People freaking out uh, about OnlyFans on uh, both sides. It was, it was funny. Dude, I don't think we've... Uh, look... OnlyFans makes a lot of money for people that want to be doing stuff like that, so more power to you. So seeing that yeah, possibly go away, so. like Save if, if a girl is making, 
let's be humble like three three k a month that's just pretty decent just kind of doing what you're doing that's also super humble like that's what i'm saying right like 3k yeah. being humble for a for month like however money that's kind of lit but if someone's like yeah we're gonna take that 3k away because oh we don't want to see no titties no more what ha huh? so obviously there's gonna be an outcry because it's good well, money why, for people to do it my thing is like you gotta know this isn't gonna last for a long long time like you gotta you gotta make like a nest egg at this point you're not only is what? it not gonna like the, the fucking website I don't know. OnlyFans doesn't seem like a long lasting website. This is where um, I come into like a business and like a brand thing where if if a girl or whoever got girl guy, whoever's doing things on OnlyFans, that they're smart, they're not just going to rely only on OnlyFans to be making their bread, even though OnlyFans gives them probably the best percentage because you can upload things to different websites. But those websites take bigger cuts than versus OnlyFans. OnlyFans, I don't think they really take much of anything. So that girl or guy gets all the fucking cut. But I would hope that many of these people would start thinking of this shit kind of like as a business, as weird as that sounds, where you don't want to, like, if this shit were to happen and somebody had their business correct, it would have been like, okay, fuck that. I already have my shit in X, Y, and Z. I built myself a brand. I am uh, Courtney Courtney Legs or whatever the fuck, and I am known on different platforms, so I'm good to go. So... I, I would start hoping that these people would start thinking this more as a business because you're right. Like this shit probably won't last forever. Like this is like a weird gold rush of just like this yeah, it's particular perfect, shit. It's a perfect storm too because of 1, all COVID and everything. So it was like, oh, hit the perfect market. But like, uh, yeah, it, this, it, not only is the website, I don't think going to last super long. I don't think their fucking bodies are going to last super long. They're going to lose. That's just reality. They're going to lose fucking... Uh, interest eventually so you might as well build a nest while you can and invest in other things build a brand you'd be surprised how much money you could just make off of foot pictures alone it doesn't have to be like full frontal nude i can easily make 3k selling feet pictures in about a week but if you didn't build yourself a brand or anything that 3k goes away once that one site goes away too like you want to be like the feet, You're only bitch. living a three k lifestyle the rest of your life. Then exactly, well, like you, you want to be from the feet. standpoint of someone who has people in this business who uses this as a business point. Like I know people who use OnlyFans, but it's not just OnlyFans. And I can tell you how much they make as an entire brand. If that's what you want, <laughs> what do they use the money for? Though is what I'm asking. For housing, for cars. I know a girl who just literally paid off her student debt. Debts. With only fans like they're clearing themselves out of debt student harvey dent i also Jesus know Christ. that people also purchase new homes people have also traveled using only fans i think you're yeah, arguing the same gonna keep, point that i'm how are they gonna upkeep these? how are they gonna upkeep these though like it's not gonna last because a lot of people don't just spend the money they do put it into savings not everyone's like i got a wad of cash let me just blow it real quick i think you're over overestimating a lot of these people I think you're overestimating how a lot of people who done this profession treat their money. I think I it's know. literally both. Like one of y'all is overestimating and one of y'all are underestimating. Like I see a ton of fucking people that whenever OnlyFans made this fucking outcry, it's like, well, what the fuck? Like I can't take care of my family and shit. And I can't take care of the bills and stuff that I have if you take this away from me. So I feel like there is definitely a mix of both where there are people that probably making money off of this and doing what I'm talking about, where you build yourself a brand, you build yourself an, like an investment, you build yourself like an actual plan to go about where if OnlyFans goes away, you have different ways to make money. But there's also people where they make about six to seven K a month and they take care of everything, but they don't have anything else. That's just what they have right there. So if they do lose that one seven K per month, they're fucked. So yeah. I, de it's, I feel like it's a mix of both, in my humble opinion. So, you know, I would just hope that people would be be smarter with the shit. And I'm pretty sure there are people that are doing that. But, you know, I don't think we would have saw that big of an outcry with OnlyFans taking away that shit if a lot more people, overestimating, a lot more people would have had like a proper way of doing their business. But... From what I saw and all the outcry and all the bullshit that kind of came with it, I think it was both a combination of people like 
shit, this is the way I make my money and I don't like I don't really have anything else. So I'm kind of fucked if this goes away or so the people will like, dude, this is good money for me. Why the fuck is this getting taken away? So I think we're all kind of saying the same thing, in my opinion, but. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Parallel to each other, where it doesn't really cross over, so it's kind of irrelevant. I mean, I personally don't think sex work is going to die out anytime soon. Nope. And I think the moment that one site dies, a new one's going to pop up. Fancy yep. is one of them. It's been around for a while, and it got a boom. And that's the thing, like, only fans can stop supporting sex workers if they want to, but it's not going to change the fact that someone is going to make bank off of the content creators they abandoned. And most of the outcry that I've seen was the fact that content creators are tired of seeing sites saying that they're for sex workers and they support sex workers and then going like, oh, for a business standpoint, we're going to cut out the sex work stuff because, you know, our investors don't like the fact that y'all showing tits out here. Because it's money. Money rules that's, everything. So that's like a weird whatever moral thing, but I'm just telling you that this is it's never going to get higher than it is now unless like something crazy happens that's new and innovative. This is the highest uh, point for that kind of market because of the pandemic and because of how many people are stuck and what they got to do for income. This is it. Unless we have like a different world thing where people have yeah, to like I said, or like a crazy no. innovation or something. And I think like the only reason why OnlyFans is good dope because again, there's different avenues you can go about this, but they take big cuts from what the fuck you're making. OnlyFans, yeah. are you sure, doesn't take that much of a cut. So it is both dope for the content creators that are on there because they don't really get a lot of their money taken away. So they've taken a lot of that home, which is dope as shit. And it's also good for the OnlyFans because they're making a shit ton of money. And I don't, I get kind of the point of the moralistic, like, get tired of people wanting to support sex workers, but then not. In my opinion, a business is a business is a business is a business is a business. Every business runs off of money, depending on if you're a public company or a private one. I have more faith in private ones because they don't have to uphold like to a board or to people that are stockholders or anybody. So if let's say OnlyFans wants to become public, then yeah, they're probably going to have to deal with more of the, okay, we like sex workers, but we can't have certain brands come on because they don't like uh, that, that, that what comes with it or blah, the fucking blah. So they're going to have to start thinking, well, shit, if we want to go public, we kind of can't really support this shit. So let's maybe go that route. But let's say OnlyFans is just making the fucking numbers. It's just like, you know what? Fuck it. We're still private. Uh, we're still making a decent amount of money. We can still technically say we support sex workers. Let's just kind of stay where they are. It's going to be at the end of the day about money, bro. Like the fuck the moral shit. Fuck all the bullshit, bro. It's about money. And it fucking sucks in, in many a different ways because you would like to think companies somewhat uphold their shit or somewhat stand for something, but money doesn't really come with that all the time. So, you know, it's just the way business I, is, but doesn't make it right. Like how, Probably not. Uh, like how Wu-Tang said, right? Cash rules. Cream, baby. Me. I personally think if you're going to make your most profit off of sex work, don't be basic ass bitches and double down and say you're not for it anymore. When you made your fucking five billion dollars off of sex workers, that's crazy. Or go to school. I don't know. Excuse Why? Me. When I can sell foot pictures for like three k, and that's the, just for two days. But then the company closed. What are you going to do now? Then I moved to another business. Like oh, so a, the whole conversation was a waste of time. Then. Like, because you can, like, move or what? Yeah, I guess. Austin, how many people do you know have done sex work? Okay. Um, Before we go into this point here, I will say, everybody, like, just because you may or may not know of somebody that's involved in a certain industry does not mean you can or cannot understand the point. So... I just want to put that out there because Austin's obviously probably going to say not many. So Ruby, you're going to put in your take. So I understand that, but I'm going to put that out there. So. I don't ask. Like you don't ask if your friends are 
sex work. Women. I don't ask if they're in the sex work business. No, usually not thing that comes up. Why not, man? You not sub to the homies? <laughs> I would never sub to the homies, bro. Come, hey, hey, I man. Don't pay for, I don't pay for pussy, so. What if I was showing? I like mean, a- you I buy know. gifts. For your girl, don't you? <laughs> you buy dinner for your girls, don't you? Girls? Austin has more than one now? What is he? What's, where is he? You know he laid down that pipe. I, mean, I don't know how many he's been with in his life. I don't know him like that. Why are you, uh, why are you inferring that all? I care about his monetary value. Like, that's fucked up. Well, what? I mean, you're the one who's bringing in, like, okay, well, if you're only going to make money, then you're only going to lose a 3K life. And then, 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 then. So you are turning it into more of a money conversation, so... When you're selling it strictly for money, yeah, the the point you're putting up a second ago had nothing to do with that, but sure. Uh. <laughs> like I said, you know, go to school, do your thing. Don't go to school if you don't got to. Go to trade school or pop that pussy for money. It's whatever you want. Just don't be surprised with any outcomes that happen. What the fuck? You want to... Uh... I'll, I'll put my point in. I'll put, okay. Um, we, I don't care what the fuck you're doing. Build a brand. Be smart. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, no matter how good that basket is. We can talk about OnlyFans. We can talk about only being a YouTuber Twitch. and not we building a Twitch. brand. We can talk about building a Twitch brand and not working outside the realm. It literally can be fucking anything. If dude, you're you on, can even talk about like real estate and shit like that. Bro. Dude. It, it, whatever a business you're trying to do a brand the whole fucking point of a brand is for awareness you do not build awareness off of one place you need to branch out so for anybody that's doing only fans think different platforms different uh social media just try your best to not just rely on one but multiple avenues so that you don't get fucked if only fans does come back and say you know what we're gonna double triple whatever the fuck the backflip and just get rid of 18 only or plus 18 content and we're going to be squeaky clean like fucking tumblr because we want our brand to die blah fuck blah point being youtube <clears throat> twitch only fans build a fucking brand and that's the way you make money motherfuckers so that's my take doesn't matter if you're an e-girl or a fortnite player <laughs> hey baby that's, that's what it is am i look we're all here for different reasons, but money helps with your life. You don't want to be reliant on just one way. You want to be making money multiple ways. Oh, the rich stay rich and wealthy. Right, Drew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck the proletariat. Yeah, that's what I've been talking about, boy. Ruby, any last takes? <sighs> Ruby? Are people doing sex work? Secure your bag. Fuck everyone else. I mean, that's what they're doing for work, so. Yeah. Sex work doesn't solely mean fucking people for money. Okay, I don't know why you keep saying that because no one here is saying for like fucking like it could be feet pics, it could be just a lingerie, it could be a vlog, it could be cooking, it could be you getting railed or you just showing a little bit of butt or you just dressing in a nice way, whatever form of content you're putting on OnlyFans, I think is okay. Just make sure you have more than one way to make money. I don't think anyone here is saying like, OnlyFans is only here for watching people get fucked and like get railed. There's different things on OnlyFans. That's the whole point. I think that's one of the one things what they were trying to hope for on OnlyFans is that, you know, there's different things on OnlyFans, not just people getting fucked. And <laughs> uh, kind of a lot of money comes through different ways, but some of it, not most of it, comes through on the sex side or whichever way you want to see it. But I am trying to say that I understand that there's more than just that content on there. I think we all understand that. I think. I'm not sure. I don't want to assume. Yeah. 
Oh my god, Chris. Maybe you have anything what? to add or like I'm sorry, I I don't know who the I fuck mean, was hey. gonna end this cap this oh my bad. I just I don't know, I'll just say hey, there's always there 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 always needs to be cashiers out there. <laughs> fuck fine. <laughs> They're fucking understaffed in my store. Come apply. I don't think that's how that works. Nah, they can just work you further to the grave. I guess so. <laughs> At least, you know. I mean, it's cheaper that way for them. Cool. All right. On to the fucking next <laughs> one. Um, thoughts Damn, on Kanye West. Filing paperwork. It changes name to yay. I like it. <laughs> it's genius, bro. I What's mean, the difference? I literally is, don't care is, like, yeah, at all. There is no difference. Existence. I don't care either. It's, I agree. It's genius. It's hey, fucking bro. genius. Change, change your name. Get, that, to yay. get the fucking publicity, bro. Anything. I've been through a lot of news recently, bro. And uh, like, correct, uh, Mickey. Well, is correct. Awkward ending is correct. Your vibe there, that's correct. I like that, guys. We need to support Ye and his fucking movement. All right, this <laughs> needs to happen because okay, I already thought that Kanye was a short enough name until I started more and more people just calling him Ye, which you know. In, in just simple terms, that's a really dumb fucking name. Like, yay. <laughs> hey, yay. Yay, so it's yay. His name is going to be um, just yay West, or it's just going to be yay. It's going to be yay, bro. Nothing else. It might as well be yay yeah. ye West, bro. Yeah. Like, it could be it's, fucking anything at this point. It's kind of, I ain't my nigga at all, but that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard, bro. What? It's yay. Okay. <laughs> the, you, the, you saying it is not going to make it better. <laughs> It's yay, but it's bro. yay. Yes, yay. <laughs> yay. Yay. Just nah. I can't. Uh, it'd be funnier if he was like a pro athlete and that was just on the back of his jersey. But I mean, uh, this will work too if like it's not an album. It just says yay. <laughs> he made an album called Yay. I thought no. Yeah, but yay, then it'd yay. be, it'd be, but it'd be retroactive to be yay yay. Oh. Yeah. Just gonna get cup three of my coffee you should not be on cup three what the, that's not good for your soul young lady it's okay during her Drink last stream she was on 12 <gasps> cups of coffee okay what the fuck wait a minute no. your bowels must be fucking clean Mickey. <laughs> Mickey, there's there's a point where you need to stop and you passed it like 25 cups ago. Mickey. You can't judge because you want flaming hot Mountain Dew. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, what, what she yeah, said? She what the fuck? She got, she got hey, I was she about to side with Drew. I was about to side with Drew until fucking day. Ruby said that shit. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> she, she got you there. She got you there. Carlos repents. I was about to agree. Say, so, yeah, I agree. Mickey's gone too far. Then I forgot about the flaming hot fucking Mountain Dew. <laughs> Yeah, there's a difference between trying a sip of something to, to you know, taste it and drinking 12 fucking cups of coffee in look, a day. Look, no, look. Not at your age, there is it? Look. I was just shooting up a little bit of heroin just to try it out. That's all. <laughs> look, the way, the way my brain interpreted that sentence was, look, there's a difference between me taking a little bit of a bite of my own shit Compared to drinking 12 <laughs> cups of coffee. Nah. All right. I feel that even if it's just a little bit, it's kind of fucked. All right. You're getting liquid ass into your mouth middle, to come out your ass. Like it, it is a wild concept. I'm Carlos, happy that you're down to ride. Carlos, I got to eat that corn again so it digests properly. You're fucking disgusting. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You're gross. Uh, <laughs> and then we got to throw our underwear back in the washing machine. 
Yeah, you dirty sons of bitches. <laughs> the fuck? This is how you get fucking mudslides of underwear. All right? Right here. Coming from it's Flaming a, Hots. On uh, my 10th fucking cup of coffee? Yeah. I mean, I will say, Mickey might have great bowel movement. Better than all of us. <laughs> Mickey great, must not... Mickey must not sleep. She must not sleep at all. I guess Mickey technically is built different. I agree. Who needs to sleep when you're in the modern age, okay? Hey, I need my sleep, bro. (laughs) Would we say that New York is better than Florida? No, no, no. no. Never just spit my skin like that again. No, no. I'd rather not. I'm good. New York niggas live in fridges. This is apartments the size of fridges and shit. Like I can't. They have rats as big as cars. They train, smell like shit. This sounds like an apocalyptic. Yeah, I'd say New York is more beautiful than Florida is as a whole. So I'd say New York would be lit. So fuck Florida again. Yeah, but wow. no minorities are there. They're not allowed. Wait. I mean, I don't care if it's a beautiful countryside. If it's pretty, it's pretty. But for me. Look, <laughs> I'm sorry I came back with this. The point being, we support Ye and his movement. Uh, oh, yeah. Ye West. That is a terrible fucking name. Call Ye just, West. No, all of it just Ye completely. No, Ye, no West. Wait. No, he is just Ye. Yeah. He's just Ye. Hold, on. He's just Ye. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Hold on. It, it's not Ye West. No, it's just no, Ye. Ye. his whole name. His first name is middle name and his last name. Dude, Ye. never mind. This is so just as. Triple Ye? Triple yeah yeah yeah. No, no, he, just, yeah, yeah. he just wants to be yeah. Just one. I one mean, yeah. hell yeah. Whatever You're makes like you Sharon, happy. Bro. This is just <laughs> as genius. This is just as genius as McLovin. So I can't say shit. This is great. This is fantastic. Brilliant, dude. It was either that or <laughs> Muhammad, and he chose yay. So I'm good with that shit. That's good. I mean, <laughs> the fuck went between that and Muhammad? <laughs> Muhammad's the most fucking god in the world. Muhammad. What if you copyright it though, Chris? That means like you can't, you can't say yeah. Bro, don't let me catch you saying yeah, because I will report you to Kanye. (laughs) You're gonna owe him like five cents. It's gonna be like Paris Hilton and owning that's hot. We can say that's hot. Yeah, she trademarked it. She trademarked that's hot. Paris, you fucking small. That's what Paris Hilton is. Brilliant. Oh, you can say that, but she making a lot of fucking money. Yeah, I was gonna say I will have people watching every so every form of content just waiting for someone saying <laughs> so hot, bro. I will fucking hunt your ass down, and I will get my two dollars, pussy. Dude, she's bro, like a marketing genius. I'm, movies, I'm like a scale we don't see. Movies, That's TVs, That's content, anything. It's like that time she was at the the game conference or whatever. I think it was E3 where she was promoting a game, but it was like the wrong game that she was promoting. Oh no! Genius. Well, she came out and she said that like she had a place to give it as a branding thing, so like people wouldn't actually know what she was up to behind the scenes. Fuck yeah! There's a lot of interviews with her admitting that it's pretty great. I'm like, well, damn. Mm. Her. Dumb question. Her family is the one that owns the Hilton like hotels, right? Yes. Her daddy. Papa. I wish I was Paris, man. Like I can coin so hot, bro. Fuck. Do you? Hell yeah. I can charge you for saying so hot, you basic bitch. I will come to your house <laughs> Dude, with an invoice. Fucking, I would trademark the word bet. Like fuck it. I just oh do that. my fucking god. Oh, no, 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 you can't do that. Oh you my god. Wait, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. That's literally no. the conversation <laughs> we're having right now. Give me your fucking wallet, EJ, right now. Bro, that's one of my favorite words to say, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Get out, boy. Just EJ. Just give him your bank account. Just give him a bank account at this point. No, it's like the time those, those on that YouTube channel tried to, like, uh, trademark the word React. React. And that shit wasn't going to yeah. <laughs> that's smart. They fucked it up. They could they could have done it properly if they didn't fuck it up. Wasn't it the reaction channel that was trying to, like, yeah. get the thing React? Yeah, yeah, it was React. Fine, bro. Yeah. yeah. They just did it, they did it the wrong way. I mean, no, I think you know, I'm getting off, y'all. Okay, goodbye. Good night. What? Total. Good night. See you, Zach.
Yeah, I think that's okay. gonna be my new uh my new goal is to get rich enough to coin that. <laughs> that has to be it. Uh, it is. Trademark and bet. I gotta do it. It's too late. It'll be out of like style. No, fuck no. You go to Las Vegas and you just hover around with a fucking oh, blank invoice. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good you just tally too. up. Fucking... You just sit at the craps table and you just tally oh, up. Fucking... Dude, all the sports betting that's coming out recently. Hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna fucking DraftKings is gonna owe me a lot of money. I I dare you to say it on TV. <laughs> Wait for Please. this. Please, I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm, I'm changing. I'm changing it there. I'm gonna say wager. I wager. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wager. <laughs> that sounds like a duel. Like you're ready to fucking duel me. Like, bro, relax. What do you wager to the duel, sir? That would be. If... <laughs> I wager you that I can throw that. I don't want to wager. I want to bet. <laughs> All right. Well, that's five cents. We su- we we support you. <laughs> that's great. And the last topic, because uh, yeah. we're, we're, this is a terrible pod. But the last one, thoughts on Activision Blizzard being accused of shredding documentation. <laughs> what? Are you telling <laughs> To what? cover you up proof me? of the allegations against them. Oh. Dude, they this. Pulled, they pulled a Hillary Clinton? That's crazy. This little company is just really run by dumbass dudes. Ball. Like, doing the bro, I swear, like, they had to be at the table at the conference, and they were just like, "How y'all think we gonna beat this shit?" And the dumbass in the back is like, "How about you shred them? What? How about we just burn the? How about we just burn the building down? That way they can't find anything. <laughs> we claim insurance, wait, wait. and we get rid of um, everything. What? Uh, can you fill me in on what happened? Because this is gonna be. Oh gosh. Oh well, how much time you got? How much time do you do you have? Hey, you, just, uh, you just go read it. Yeah, I got you. I got you. No, no, no. no. Ruby can give you a synopsis because she's good at this. Yeah, just, just give me the lowdown. Give, her, give him like uh, a like a minute rundown. All right, a very sir. unbiased one, please. Fuck you. They're accused <laughs> of more or less uh, allowing female coworkers to be sexually harassed. One is being charged of feeding a coworker to kill herself while on vacation, while a work retreat with her boss. Misconduct conduct against female employees regarding promotions as well as uh, inappropriate pay, and allowing male coworkers to drink on the job and more or less do cubicle crawls in the office, which is more or less like a bar crawl, but, you know, cubicles. What a bunch of dickheads. What it, just, it sounds like a typical frat house from what it sounds like. Um, just yeah. a bunch of dudes doing dumb shit. Uh, yeah. That's fucked up. And, well, um, the coworker that killed herself, she had her nudes leaked by her boss yeah. to a lot of uh, company and she took her life to do it. Um, which I think is grounds for revenge porn. But I'm not sure what the state of California is going for in terms of like their entire uh, charges. I know they're going for uh, sexual misconduct and sexual harassment charges. I don't know if they're going to go for um, revenge porn. I know they're going for wrongful death. But yeah. There, and now we're dealing with the fallout of... I think like the the top I guy left. Shredded the proof. The HR left. They're shredding yeah. fucking documents. <laughs> like seriously, they should have just burned the building down at this point. Uh, like that they, would have been better a better move. They then blamed their players, like the I guess us that play Warzone and shit for toxic um, behavior. What? I don't even fucking know for being assholes for letting that happen. I have no fucking clue. And so now Activision is just being sorry. Activision forward slash Blizzard. Um, this is being hilarious. So, I do agree. They should have just blown up that whole fucking building, dude. It, you claim insurance, and everything is gone. Like, that That would have been it. You're done. Or what they could have done was said that their building was attacked by arsonists who were radically um, mm. upset due to the misconduct of their former employees, and therefore were targeted as a hate crime. And those same people play Warzone, so you can blame the Warzone community, (laughs) make them feel bad, and the other assholes. Two in one. 
All I gotta say is we gotta be a PR team. Because this is we, all genius. We could have saved them so much money, <laughs> so much time. Don't give me that much power. Oh yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> like, all right, listen, this is what you gotta do. Da, 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 da. Now all I need <laughs> I need lower gigabytes on my fucking hard drive. Please? Now lower that shit down. Please? All right, I need that. All right, bring back these mounts in, in fucking World of Warcraft. I need those, all right? That's all I need, all right? Everything else. Also, slide me a $2 bill, because those are rare. <laughs> Give me that. I mean, what would be really fucked up is if they started including, like, uh, that former employee as an honorary NPC in World of Warcraft, because, ooh. Oh, shit. God. Oh. That, see, and that wouldn't be. And as a PR thing. They'd be like, we're doing this in honor of our fallen, like, oh, team man. member. That's bold. That's real that's bold. Some, that, is, that is a bold move. See, Ruby, that's some shit that the PR team before us would suggest, and then we would probably <laughs> say, I don't think that's the right I idea. I don't think that's the right move. Mm -mm. I think we should just say, you know, shit got torched. I don't know what to tell you, man. Yeah, just burn the building down, please. Please? All right. <laughs> You just have to fix, fixing the fucking lore and world at Warcraft. It's fucking shit. One dude right was now. just like, I'm gonna just shred it. I know. Uh, so, half the people that are probably not even here at this point of the video or pod, we, we make light of it. I mean, it is semi serious, but at this point, Activision is just being hilarious. Uh, it, it, Activision slash Blizzard. At, sorry, Activision forward slash Blizzard, or just being really funny. You can't not laugh at these dumbasses trying to shred documents. What is this like the nineteen like sixties where you didn't have any other decision? Like, oh fuck, we have so much technology, we shred it, shred it all, bro. <laughs> dumbasses. Um, we should probably emphasize that we're laughing at how stupid they're being versus stupid. them taking accountability accountability for their gross misconduct against their female right. staff and employees. Um, yeah, and said. if you don't want to give up the games that you do enjoy playing from Activision Blizzard because, you know, childhood memories are a thing, you can help by more or less not playing on days where they're holding a walkout, support the victims, and do your best to educate people for being that type of toxic in the community by going like, hey, that's not cool. And, you know, protect the girls. What she said. Times four. Or don't do that if you don't want to, but, you know, you should. Or, you know, you could be that fucking guy. Yeah, you could be that dude up there. Fuck <laughs> that dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, good stuff. Good I talk. hope the next thing that we hey, see... That... What? You say that even though you're the dude that plays Warzone more often than... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I should be the guy that's fucking championing. I'm the one that's like... <laughs> I... Did you not hear what your girlfriend just fucking said? Okay, she said even if, if if you can't stop playing it, you can still support in different ways, bitch. So I am supporting kind of a little bit oh, eh, in different <laughs> ways, bitch. Yeah, Chris, shut up. Come at me different, not sideways. Thank well, you. <laughs> Warzone is, from what I understand, no one here is paying for Warzone, correct? No. Well, Therefore, no, no, no money no. is going towards the company. Oh, fuckers are paid for some yeah. shit. I know that. Look, I mean, I paid for shit before we found out that it was a frat house, and now I haven't paid one penny. I don't want to support. At the end of the day, you can't stop people from enjoying things that they have memories to. That's a fact. People still support Harry Potter, despite all the bullshit that's tied into, and that's their <laughs> choice. People still listen you know? to R. Kelly. I'll tell you that. People are gonna do what they're gonna do. You just have Bro, to try to help. To this song. Stop blaming them. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta help them find ways to support victims and let them like be heard while still like you know holding on to things that keep them sane. And fuck you, Austin. Not, and the horse not, you came in I'm on. I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at this R. Kelly song. Oh, <laughs> all right. Carry on then. No, I still every time I think of R. Kelly, I just think of that video where he's literally in Africa, like singing to those uh those people, and Dude, he's like, "R. Kelly, man, you are like, disgusting. Uh, like, make sure you get your shots so you can come to America with me." And I'm like, "What the fuck am I looking at?" Bro, did you see that uh, that performance he had where like he kept telling the chick in the crowd to keep wiping it, but like he was wiping yes. his dick the entire. That's the same fucking one with the get your shots or whatever. <laughs> 
Right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that dude, I don't Please. know how this man got away with it for so long, maybe because I'm everyone loved my him. Life. He's still getting away with it. People still think he's innocent. He still has nah. he, he nah, still nah, has dude. girls. No. Nah. He uh, was never Did you Did you guys see um he had a, another child recently and these niggas had so much fucking evidence they had to bring it in carts. Oh my like, god. Bringing, they were bringing carts of evidence inside the courtroom one by one. <laughs> yeah, you done at that like, point, my boy. Yeah, it's, it's like I've never seen somebody bring carts of evidence before a day in my life. I've never seen like, any of that shit in my life, officer. It's <laughs> fucking rap. It's just, you know. That's wild. It's, <laughs> it's fucking over for that man, bro. Oh, gosh, dude. That man yeah. made ignition, bro. That <laughs> is fucking wild, man. I mean, it doesn't even stop from there. Didn't, like, fucking, like, in the 90s, he, like, married, like, a teenage chick? Dude, like, he's uh, been wild he since married, he was young, he married, bro. He married, uh, oh, Aaliyah. Aaliyah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah when yeah, she was, yeah. like, fucking 14 or some shit. Yeah, she was underage at the time, and they falsified her age married. on the marriage license to make it look legal. Yeah, so weird. So weird, bro. I do for his life, right? Just shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What's you up, know Black who Cole? I miss? I miss Akon. Hey, get locked he, up. Akon. He's, Akon. Uh, he's doing some big shit in Africa, right? He like, is, he's, uh, yeah, he's over there oh. doing the most for Africa, but for he him. also like ended up losing a lot of his music career because, you know, someone let an underage girl into a club. Oh, uh, they drink all it happens. I did not know. Yeah, I didn't know that either. It's unfortunate because I, I, I miss his music. I actually really like the song that he wrote about that incident. Yeah. Ooh. Blame it on me. The, yeah, the message that it sent. Uh, blame it on me, I think is. Yeah, is the blame name. it on me. The message it sends is just like. Yeah, you know, people need to be held responsible, and sometimes people who aren't responsible for the thing that happened take that responsibility. I'm, I need to listen to this. Next. I feel like... Was it a good song? Blame it yeah. on me. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I will say too, like it is really easy to sneak into a bar when you are a chick. Like it's not hard. I used to do that shit a lot in my youth. It's not complicated. So, look, man. <laughs> Especially with how it's easy to get a fake license these days. I didn't even need a fake license. Up. All I needed was tits. Oh, you just walked in? <laughs> I just walked in. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all had it easy. I remember this song. <laughs> I like this song. My bad. Whoops. Well, I mean, you know, he uh, didn't he have like a fucking like Latin album recently, like a reggaeton album almost? I don't know. I have no fucking clue. And I swear to God, he did something like that where it was like, uh, fucking what is that shit called? Bachato, bachata, something like that. Well, hold on. Uh-huh. Black hole. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you're taking a break if your hands killing you. We're doing fucking fantastic. Our topics have been terrible today, so we're kind of we're almost at the end of it, but we're talking about Akon. Don't know why. Uh... Um, it probably was either bachata, but most of the time, the 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 most. The most crossover happens between reggaeton and hip hop, or kind yeah, of like what he was doing. He, I could have swore he did something like that. Because but... if it was more like 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 dancey, like like you can kind of like move your hips to it, that's more like bachata. But if it's like a vibey, yeah. like you kind of bop into it, that's probably reggaeton. Right. I mean, I know he appeared on Wild and Out, but like that's, that's yeah, that show is of, you know still going, uh, still going yeah. strong. Yep. Even after that, that gag went out. <laughs> Uh, Wait, this show's still going? Yeah. yeah! Nick Cannon can throw oh, out like Nick's Swim and fucking show. That's irrelevant Nick Cannon is, dude. No, no. wait, Nick's not on it, though? Hell no. Oh, that sucks. What do you Bro, mean? What? Nick Cannon is on it. He's still on it. Okay, okay, right, right, right. It's not yeah. wild now without the boy. Just pull out yeah, there's no wild no now without Nick, bro. He also produces uh, Hip Hop Square, too. He's making money. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, despite his music career back in the early 2000s. What are you talking about, bro? His his fucking diss track against Eminem was fire. What are you talking about? 
It was cool. He dude. made one. <laughs> yeah, look it up. It's just terrible, dude. No, I'm not. Bro, no, no, nah, it's, it's oh. If you want to have a laugh, go ahead. Black hole. That's I mean, not I healthy. You're pressing show. twenty buttons a second. Or... That's not good. For some reason, all I remember is that fucking uh, that YouTube guy was on it for a while. Oh, uh, uh, I am Zoe. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was on there too. I like. It. Oh, I was going to say it, that is not narrow it down at all. That fucking like ugly ass celebrity dude, Pete Davidson. I think he was on it for like a short while too. What's wrong with Pete Davidson uh, besides having butthole eyes? What's wrong with him? Azalea Banks <laughs> was on it too, and she did not handle that show well at all. It happens. It happens. She uh she didn't understand that it's a show where you're supposed to get roasted, and she took everything personal, oh. and it wasn't personal. Oh yeah, I remember that. And that then became personal. She she flat out insulted Nick Cannon for his his, his disease and all. He's like, <laughs> Damn, that's uh, that's funny. <laughs> Fucking, I think Bryce Gum was on it too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. That's he was. That's embarrassing. Yeah, that's cringe. The only people I remember who haven't stuck around as much are were King Batch. Uh, yeah, I'm just that nigga. I thought he, it was. King, <laughs> I thought it was King Box for some reason. He, he said himself like I want some of those batch. I don't know. It just it just looks like that, but that's fine. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, look, yeah, it's spelled like that way, isn't it? Like the composer. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah that shows. Uh, you know, it was it was it was a time I would watch shit and like it. If I watched it now, I'd probably be like, this is whack. But you know, it's whatever. There's a there's a few clips that are pretty decent uh, overall. Yeah. Ooh, he's been busy too. He has seven kids. That's why I said his pullout game is trash, dude. Ooh. I think he had like triplets or some shit yeah. like a bit ago. Or Nicholas. Holy Christ! <laughs> he's been laying that shit strong. <laughs> uh, well, he has two sets of twins. I can tell you that right now. Well, he has like fucking like six with Mariah Carey, right? Or five uh, or some shit like that? No, he has two? Two. Yeah, I thought it was two. I thought it was two. Oh, yeah, uh, two. Okay, and the rest yeah, is from two. other shit, huh? And then he has a daughter. That's true. Uh, but you all remember Drumline? That was the shit. Oh. <laughs> and then he has another <laughs> set of twins. And then he has another son with a model. Dude. Sir, you need to slow it down. Bro, does he have to uh, does he have to like do child support on all that? Because that's a lot, yeah. dude. Yeah. Yeah, because oh. a lot of them aren't together anymore. Like his his la um, latest relationship. Well, he's, he's fucking hosting uh Mass Singer. So oh, he's good. Bro, you know uh, how much he probably have to pay for in child support? Like it's probably so <laughs> aggressive, it's disgusting. <laughs> You just not pay it, right? <laughs> you can, I don't, bro. I don't think it works that way. Ain't no fucking way he's not paying that shit, and these chicks are not being like, bro. Where the fuck is the, the money? money? Where is it? The money. Okay, like the money. four thousand a month on that. How much? Give me the money. Four thousand. One. It's four thousand a month. It's child oh, support. At least, at least. Probably paying like something like that. He has to be okay. He's worth a lot more. I promise you, he's paying like double that, triple that, yeah. quadruple that. Why so? But I know. I think it was Dr. Dre that had. I mean, he's worth billions, but he had to. I was just gonna say Dr. Dre. I was just gonna bring him up. He has to be like yeah. almost, think, almost half a half a mil. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. I don't. Well, it, I think it's like, just stupid shit too. She, I think she said that she needed like I don't know how much to like live a month, and she. On there, she had like ten thousand dollars to do laundry a month. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, she put some like fifty thousand for like entertainment. What, yeah, yeah, what yeah. What costs yeah. fifty thousand for entertainment? <laughs> it's bro, fucking. Bro, hold on. Name something right now, bro. Hell yeah, I like that. No, fuck that. I like that. No, fuck no, that's bull No, she's trying to finesse. That's dead, bro. Uh, yeah. I mean, Nick Cannon's worth sixty million. So okay, he has to be paying. He has to be paying more than like twenty to thirty thousand. Probably per kid, dude. Easy. So that's like Stop what? Stop giving kid? people two for one, dude. Thirty times oh. six. That's like one hundred eighty thousand. Snip. Why not? Let me see. They snip his shit, dog. 
he can't be like fucking pumping and dumping as much. He's gonna have no money left. He's gonna be like fucking Sylvester Stallone. It's gonna suck. <laughs> Uh, according to the court documents obtained by E.T., uh, Dre is expected to pay the monthly sum of $293,000, which Fuck adds you. up to $3.5 million in yearly support. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you fucked up. No, bro. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to court yeah. for that again. Supreme Court, ultimate court. I don't know, bro. Some... <laughs> Dude, okay, I mean, he, you know how much money he makes? I will say, I understand that, but it's, uh, that's still like, no, I, I shouldn't be paying three mil to somebody I'm not even married to anymore. But, but to be fair, this lady gave up her life to have the kids, take care of the, the, the life and shit, and support you, and probably not work man. or anything. So, like, I, hey, like, you, you know what? You want to know what? That's fucked up. Sorry, Carlos, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> I, I no, no. Like, I, I was just, I was just thinking, like, bro, again, like, it's it's kind of fucked, but again, she didn't really ask to be in this point. She just kind of was supporting you and doing everything she could as a wife, yeah. Until you, you know, know now. But Carlos, Carlos, ten thousand for ten thousand for laundry, bro. I, hey man, I, I it's whatever. I spill ketchup on me like a lot. Like, what, what the fuck you want? When you're fucking, when you're clothes, you're fucking you got ten thousand dollars worth of ketchup, yeah. <laughs> I mean, bro, you don't know how expensive her clothes are. They might be fucking two thousand dollars a shirt or some yeah. shit. All right, they're rich folk. That that bro, dry cleaning could be up in a washing machine. I, I'm not paying ten thousand for a laundry washing dog. machine, bro. If I'm making sixty million or whatever, I'm not using a washing machine. I right, get the fuck out. What? <laughs> what <do you> think? <laughs> bro, if I make if I'm making millions, bro, I'm, I'm using the same pay. shit. I'll pay some motherfucker to hand wash my clothes. Yeah, you're no. Like, oh my God. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. So, so, so if everybody here, are you not going to like use regular shit when you're rich? Yeah, fuck you, EJ. I'm going to get the best shit possible. <laughs> EJ, EJ, I've already hired a bunch of minorities to do stuff for me. No, no, no one EJ, just you! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, looking forward, to man, you I'll be looking forward to your ne- the next election cycle for you, uh, Drew. And see um, I promise to I promise to God, bro. If I see one of y'all like spilling ten thousand dollars worth of a stain on laundry, bro, like, I, I on, swear I'm gonna be mad. On paper, well, it, it, it has matter. to be ridiculous because you know she had a spreadsheet with like. I spent fifty thousand dollars on cable. I spent about a hundred thousand on just riding my car. I spent like fifteen thousand on laundry, and I may EJ, even come. spend uh seventy five thousand on groceries. If you want to know the real fucked up shit, like this isn't this sounds like ridiculous, but look up Shane Mosley's fucking divorce settlement. All right, and see some real fucked up shit. Shane Mosley, the professional boxer. All right, that oh. his fucking wife fucking uh got his fucking championship belts what <laughs> i'm being <laughs> you're lying he's sugar shane mosley lo- lo- he lost like fucking three he's been of- lying no yeah he lost like three of his belts or four or something like that how okay how am i gonna fight for these belts get my ass beat for these belts and my wife gets to take them my wife gives that shit are no, you you're, you gotta be fucked up no. what what loses championship belts to wife and divorce brother get the fuck you're you're no nah, you got me fucked up that's that's so dead bro oh you wait know? hold on dude they're even splitting amex points look at this shit mosley will have to turn over <laughs> half of his profits he'll yeah. earn from tapes of any fights between 2002 to 2009 obviously it happened when jen filed for divorce as for credit card points the couple accumulated 854,000 thousand amex points so jen gets <laughs> half of that shit you know how much four hundred thousand points is <laughs> it's a lot of fucking money. Actually, it's not Dude, a lot of money, but it's it's. I decent. just can't. I can't. It's the belt thing, man. It's like, what do you need the belts for, right? Like, what's the belts for, bro? You that see, it was just. So I feel like, I feel like it was just okay. I feel like it was just like like salt in a salt in a room. Like. And also allegedly, like I don't know if this is true, but like it, apparently, like years after that, there was also talks for him getting to get a vasectomy as part of the agreement, the, the settlement. Oh. What? No, you're yeah. you, no, 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 no. You're not. There's no way in hell. Oh yeah, that's no. the that's the ridiculous part. Yeah. 
Wait, bro. bro. Well. Okay, well, you compared to uh, Dr. Jackassi. But still, that shit bro. ridiculous, regardless. Okay. Yeah, so when, you, when, when I've seen, I've, when I learned about that years ago, I was like, what? So this whole, do- like, Dr. Dre shit, uh, it makes me laugh a little bit. But 50000 for a cable? <laughs> Who watches cable anymore, bro? That was the man lost his belt, and you want to talk about cable? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just saying, uh, like Netflix care. is like eight dollars. Hulu is like ten, maybe. Like YouTube is free. That's all I use, bro. You need to crush your whole and five. All right. Uh, Not if you're if you're like paying for it to have it in all twenty TVs in your house. Hell yeah. Why are you having? Why do you have twenty TVs in your house? You can you can experience a different room for at least every day in a month. Fuck you! You so can't do that so shit. You fucking around. peasant. All right. So I can walk around and watch TV, bro. bro. I'm not saying like if I if I have the funds, I'm not gonna, when I have the funds, I'm not gonna get a, like luxur- a luxurious house. I'm just saying I'm not gonna have twenty fucking. I'm not gonna have fifty thousand dollars worth of fucking cable. Like the no. The fact that someone. Said part of our divorce agreement is you gotta get snip box that. I don't know that. I don't know if that's like 100 true. I just heard that like years later. Yeah, Ooh. no, fuck that. True or not, fuck that. Yeah. Fuck you and the horse you came in on. Fuck that. No, no, thank you. You're that's bugging. You're funny, bugging. Funny, funny, fucked up shit. You got me all types of fucked up. That's that's terrible, bro. I can promise you, if you tell me that I, I have to get my shit fixed so I can't have any kids, I'm going to go out there and just get like an extra set of twins just for you. I'll be like, fuck you. Man, Shane Mosley, he was uh, that shit's underrated, man. Oh, my God. Guy. Bro, I, I still cannot get over me fighting and trying to get these belts. And my <laughs> fucking wife wants that shit just to spite me. You do not need that shit at all. This is evil. <laughs> well, dude, How did won, she win that shit? He won the fucking, uh, I want to say WA, WBC, IBA, and the ring. I think he was like almost uh, undisputed in like light middleweight, like in uh, fucking early 2000s when he beat De La Hoya. He was almost undisputed. And I think those were the three belts that he fucking had to give up. Because you can't give up the ring. That's lineal. Wow. But, like, the other three, I think he had to give up. Yeah. How, how did she win that case? I gotta. Yes. It's. It's cool. late. I gotta go. Bye, buddy. Oh, bye. Hey, guys. Uh, have fun in your yacht. <laughs> I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm actually flying to uh, Fiji. Uh, okay. Oh my fuck. <laughs> bye, buddy. Be Don't knock up anybody. All right, later. Oh, but what fucking Matt Murdock type of lawyer he she had in order to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get all three of his fucking championship belts. Like, what the fuck? That's some other shit. And win, and win the plea. Like, no, that. What kind of shit is that? Bro, when we, we start talking really about having to split up my Amex points, I know I'm fucked. Every, <laughs> you can take, at that point, you're taking everything because I can't even keep the credit card points. Bro, 800,000 fucking points, man. That's so much. You could do so much with 800,000. You could fly anywhere with that shit. But now this? I'm splitting that points. Yeah, I have to give him my, yeah, just take it all, dude. Fuck it. This is why I would keep my bank accounts and shit separate. There's not going to be any merging. Look, yeah. man, I, I too thought the same thing, but then I guess like getting married and everything, and it's more, nope. I can see why someone would merge because it's more convenient to have certain things in one place, but nope. you get divorced. I mean, technically speaking, in a divorce, even if everything is split up, you still t- technically have the half conversation. Like, you think about Jeff Bezos. They probably had shit fucking sprawled out and, div- and just spread as much as possible and separated as much as possible. But that motherfucker, that chick became, I think, one of, I think the rich- richest chick, like, ever, right? So, just from uh-huh. getting a divorce. Yeah, just, just from, from getting, getting a divorce. And then went and fucked around and married a fucking teacher. Badass, bro. That teacher would have been like, Ooh, oh, uh, yeah, we could, we could date. What's up? She had, no, she had to be having, she had to be popping him on a little keto. If that, was, if that was just a yeah, plan. I think so, too. Yeah, getting dicked down by him, like, on the low. And he was like, I want a divorce. I wonder, like, if, so Jeff, Jeffy had that, that girl... I'm assuming she had to have had him on the side or some shit. Probably. 
hit me yeah. like that. That's so rich people are odd. Uh, all this is taught me is that I get a contract drafted before getting get married. Like, Yo, if this fucking shit goes south, like you keep what's yours, I'm gonna keep what's mine. Yeah, get that prenup, <laughs> dog. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I'm all. All I can say though is that mostly you got the gift decision against De La Hoya. But you didn't deserve. <laughs> you didn't deserve to get your fucking belts taken away. I ain't out here trying to cut no one a check. Fuck that. But you did get a fucking gift decision, so. I hope he gets his belts back, cause that's just fucked up. That's not up. happening. Yeah, that shit is staying home with mama and the kids at all forever. <laughs> I might even <laughs> take one of your nuts. I like, how, has I, like, a I like how EJ was like so like. Uh, cross with the Dr. Dre thing and until I told him about this and then he was like blown out of the water. Well this is oh, ridiculous. I mean, that's bullshit. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I agree. Look, yeah. Dr. Dre, two hundred and something odd thousand dollars a month. I kinda get it, but it's almost like, yeah, foul. Like, I, I, yeah, you feel me? But like, you know, that what happened to um the boxer bread. I took man? shots to the yeah. fucking face and you wanna <laughs> take the fucking belt? Bro, yeah, Shane Mosley, bro. Yeah, Shane Mosley. Yeah. Fuck off. Uh, Fuck I off. hope you get a better lawyer. You get that appeal. Get Ooh, that shit that, 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 appeal. that fucking part. Whoever the fucking lawyer was for oh. fucking Mosley, I would have fired him <laughs> ten times over. I would have left him the shittiest Yelp review of all fucking well, time, I mean, dude. It had, it had to be one of those like lawyers that was like, you, you ask your friend if he got a lawyer, he's like, yeah, I got this guy. Dude, I got this boy. guy. He, he, he ain't never let me down. Or as a public lawyer. <laughs> oh, he has oh a public defending. Just yeah, I don't know what's happening. You want the belts? I guess you can. It's mostly you, you don't. Or you can honest, have the belts. He could have just been like a, a pushover and been like, yeah, okay, maybe, you can have this and this and this. That's why. Maybe that judge was just having an off day. It was like, fuck yeah, I don't want to deal with no family court anymore. Bro, like before the judge even sits down, he's everything. like. He's like, man, I don't even know what happened here. Just, lady, whatever Just you want, even a, yeah, even a nut, take that shit, dude. Fuck this dude. He cheated on you? Shit. Yeah, My mom him. got cheated on, too. Fuck that man. You want his belts? Take all three of them. You don't need <laughs> one? Decorate your wall. You need a nut? Oh, I... You can have a nut. <laughs> the fuck? I hate cheaters as much as, as much as the next guy. I hate them. With fucking passion, but there's no way in hell you're taking my belts because I, no, there's no way. I can't. Take his belts. There's no <laughs> way in hell. Take his belts. Uh, we gonna have to sell it in the ring at that point. Like, we gonna have a championship match. I don't think you can legally box a lady. <laughs> you wanna be the defending champ? You might have champ? to hire someone for that. Bro, I'm like, you're on there, so I don't know, man. I'm just, I'll figure actually, it out. Uh, I think I just, I was, I was perusing the thing, and it does, I, I kind of remember this after like seeing a comment about it, about he did have an appeal in like 2015 about how his wife technically could have been a bigamist and was married to someone else while she was married him. And so technically their marriage was not legal. But, ah, uh, legally void! Get but your belt that, back. But I think that was thrown out. Oh, <laughs> so, God damn it. Dude, I was about to say, can I get my Amex again? points back? I need my <laughs> Amex <laughs> points. Give me that shit I need, back. I need Use all of them? Nah, give me some give of them. At least 200,000. Please. You know how, you know what, too? Bro, I cannot get off of the Amex points, bro. Like, that can buy you so much cool shit, man. I just like how that's like a point of contention for because you. Because we're splitting points, bro! You are so fucking petty! I have my fucking credit card, and you want to take the points that I spent with my money? This, uh, this, this bitch took his belts that are not that much. Ow. Ow. And you're worried about the Amex. Give me my Amex points, dude. Please. <laughs> this bitch this bitch took his belt, and you're surprised about the Amex points. 400 000. You don't need- you, you don't even know what to spend 400,000 points on, bitch. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, what so is that? Much. Is that like- that's like worth 4,000 bucks, right? Give <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Give me this shit. Give me this shit. I could have swore like fifty thousand is like five hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. Yeah, like so that. Fi- yeah, yeah. I'm just fucking with you. Fifty thousand is oh, like okay. five hundred thousand. So, sorry, fifty thousand is five hundred dollars. So technically, five hundred thousand <laughs> is like five thousand dollars. But my point being, you're petty enough to take two, like twenty five hundred dollars from me, bitch. 
Hell yeah, dude, that travel dog. Fuck you! That's that's at least like, you know, three first class flying. Bro, you don't need to fly anywhere. Fuck you. Give him my points <laughs> back. I get, where am I going to wear my belts? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need to go on a world tour with my belts. <laughs> I, I beat the champion. That's me, three times. I beat him in the courts. <laughs> All right, we we got anything else? Are we good? That's it. I wonder if he know. gets made fun of on the streets because he lost his belts. To Bro, his wife. I'd yell at him. Where's nah. your belts? nigga, <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then I would run because I know he'd beat my ass, but I at least you know say a couple things. Yeah, dude. Well, I don't think he can punch you because that's uh technically that's a. Uh, oh, yeah, he's a legal weapon. Yeah, he's a yeah. yeah. But he might slap you around. <laughs> <laughs> don't matter because you don't have your belts, pussy. How are you gonna pull, hold your pants That's up? That's some crazy shit, right? That like, if you're a boxer, <laughs> at, at a certain point in your career, they they get like registered as deadly weapons, and like, if you punch someone, that's like fucking attempted murder. That's fucked up. I mean, <laughs> I sure would shit. hope so. These motherfuckers are trained to like hurt you. I don't want to get I hurt. Know, that's, just some, that's some crazy shit, though. I like it's that. Same if you take like certain types of martial arts too. Also true. Yeah. Boxers? No, not really. I said martial arts. Martial arts. Oh, okay. You mean like other martial arts? Okay. Yeah. Oh, it depends. Um, a lot of MMA guys, they they they're so diverse that they don't get that. But like, if you have like focus groups, like uh, kickboxers and stuff like that, then yeah, that happens. Bro, kickboxers mm -hmm. will take your whole head off. Easy. That's why. Uh, that's why fucking Tyrone Woodley is about to get knocked out by fucking Jake Paul. Just give Ain't him no his belts back. Yeah. All right, we is that it? Are we done? This has been a wild day. We hey, all I can say is that my MX points are looking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sets me ablaze. That sets me ablaze. Why is that more important than the belts, dog? You took because it affects Carlos directly. <laughs> you took my Amex points, bro. <laughs> no, no, you know so how Carlos, you see what I, you see like how I feel when like when Dr. Dre watched me something like ten thousand dollars on laundry. Right? Look, 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 look. <laughs> It takes a long ass time to build up <laughs> five hundred thousand Amex points. It takes a long time for that shit, bro. That's a lot of purchases. Okay. Listen, EJ, there's worlds apart from building up Amex and just getting expensive clothes, all right? Bro. Worlds apart. Oh, I mean, continue, bro. If, but if like... you knew, you knew, EJ, you'd know. All right. I just got, I just got to wait on the NC, bro. EJ, I, look, EJ, when you have the credit score and everything, I want you to apply for an Amex card. Maybe the, the gold one, because it's the simplest one, okay? And you're going to mm -hmm. get your little bonus 60,000, okay? And then the one mm -hmm. time you fucking spend it, you're going to realize how long it takes to fucking get back to 60,000 <laughs> fucking points. Now imagine that fucking feeling times 10 because it's 500,000 fucking points, man. That takes years. Kind of. Unless you're rich. Doesn't, I thought they had a silver card. Well, they, at 500,000, they should have had a platinum, motherfucker. <laughs> well, that's, that's a good point. You, say, well, you, just, you just said gold was the lowest. I thought they had a silver one. Oh, well, gold is the most basic, as in, like, it's it's still, like, not the lowest, but, like, it's pretty good to have. I think there okay. is a silver one. It's not worth your time, though, in my opinion. No, Probably, not. Score. No. Probably not. Probably not. But, yeah, that, that blows my mind versus $50,000 <laughs> of fucking hey, cable hold up, and shit. Hold up. They have, like, a uh, bronze card. A rose uh, gold card. They have a bronze? What is that? Like, for, like, people with no credit? Yeah, what the fuck does that come with? Nothing? No, I think, honestly, that's the same as a gold one. Oh, so it's not oh. actually... Okay, it's just a gold card. Yeah, yeah they do have a silver card. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well... <laughs> just, just, just clip that out, the whole rant about Amex, please. Uh, no, that's the... <laughs> Need to understand the importance of him. No, clip it out and put it on YouTube so I can watch it tomorrow. Oh, well, fine. I'll find the time. All right, we oh. should be done. This is it. We... I hope you learned something, EJ. Yeah, hey. get a prenup. Get a prenup. Yeah. Don't ever lose the championships. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? The, the Amex Silver card is like $700 annual. 
Whoa! And, you know, what? Try not, try not to give uh, any girls twins. You want to save on that child support? Oh please, seven hundred. Don't get what? a twin. That shit's extra money. Chris, I'm sorry. Just toss one out. I mean, you know, not ethically. Don't do that. Oh, you know. yeah, that's not a silver. They don't have silver card. That's platinum. Oh, it's just a platinum. Okay. Yeah, platinum Damn. is seven hundred. Uh, yeah, that's the. I was gonna say, how's a silver worth more than gold? Yeah. I think the most basic one you can probably get is the uh, American Green, American Express Green card. Yeah, that's something. the everyday okay. card. I think is the most basic. Oh, is it? <laughs> I just can't get over that. <laughs> five hundred <laughs> and maybe five thousand. But bro, when you're scrolling through the little benefits of what can you can afford. You can afford the whole fucking <laughs> shop. All of it. I'm just imagining this fish buying stuff at like with her card, wearing the belt, like just wearing one of them. And... Bro, if I saw her, man, I'd just cry. Like, bro, you using my Amex <laughs> and you got my belt? Seriously? I gotta fight your new husband. Just cause. Bro. bro. Mm, there's so many words. All right. Oh, no. I had a very bad thought. What if she makes like her new man wear the mouse while they're having sex? Oh, oh no. damn! Well, flashing the care. Amex card <laughs> with the card. <laughs> no, no, no. They, she just holds the Amex card in her teeth and just. Like, oh, I think that should be our uh, new clan tag is Amex. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it might actually might might work. I like that. Five hundred thousand. Uh. All right. Any closing comments? Are we good? I know Ruby said one, but anyone else? Uh, Fucking. I'm not paying fifty thousand for cable. (laughs) Dude, fuck your cable, bro. I just want my points. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm dying this hill. I'm going to die in this hill, bro. I'm not. Die on your hill with your fucking cable, bro. Like you you didn't have to work fucking years to get that shit, bro. You. Hey. Oh my god. Let me just do my mouth real quick. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shit. <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. Hmm. Hold on. 100,000 Amex points is $2,200. Oh. So. It's almost in fucking gray! <laughs> <laughs> bro okay all right we're good we're Wait, good what? we're good it's what? double than what we thought it's double 22? than what we thought damn 2200 no 2200 under the platinum card for points is a is equal it's to double. 100,000 points mean, so under the platinum is double okay i mean 22,000 2200 22,000 2200 is worth the 100,000 points under the platinum card. 200 is only 2200. <sighs> I swear I swear he went to school. 100,000 <laughs> Amex points is equal to $2200 under the platinum card American Express deal. So, if he had 500,000 fucking points times 2.2 <laughs> What is it? Come on, you can do it. 2.2 times 5. Bro, Chris is fucking... I already already got it. So it's like $11,000, dude. Bro, you took $11,000 from me, you (laughs) motherfucker. And the belts. And the the belts. belts. All right, we're going to stop. And you want me to get a vasectomy, too. Don't forget that. You're going to make me chop on that. All right. (laughs) Uh, thanks guys for taking the time to chill with us i didn't say this at the beginning but you should have liked the video if you haven't <sighs> my feelings are fucking hurt but that's okay we keep living so thank you so much for watching hey I man just go out and message shane mosley tell him that you oh, support him tell him to get his amex points back please. <laughs> thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it have a good rest of your day peace out and we'll see y'all later Bye bye